the stream. Hi, Jim Matt. What's up? How are you? Sorry, I'm just trying to get settled. Um, hello, everyone. We are painting today. banging everything against everywhere. <laughs> okay. How are you doing, Angel Hands? <laughs> That's your new nickname when I saw latest artwork. <laughs> Aw, I'm glad you like it. It's so funny, because I I feel like the way I feel about my like specific pieces is always different than what other people think. Like, if I were to pick my, like, ten favorites, they are almost never the same as anybody- as, as anyone who, like, looks at my art. Like, I always <laughs> have, like, different tastes in my own artwork, so I think it's always funny. Um. <laughs> but I'm- I'm good. How are you, Jim Matt? Um. I ate like half a chocolate bar before I started. I really need to stop eating a crap ton of chocolate right before stream. Uh, it's not good for my health. <laughs> but, but I digress. Okay, let me, um, let me pull this up. Right? What am I clicking? Here we go. Art. We can see art now. Um, and I think if I move, hang on. I was muted. You can see me now. It works. I did it all. We're amazing. Let me just... I feel like I might be a little quiet. If I'm not a little quiet, then sorry if I make myself too loud. <laughs> I am good. Yeah, chocolate is not really the best. I know, and I had an apple like sitting there already, and I just like grabbed a candy bar. I was like, no, no, no. No, don't do that. But I did it, so. <laughs> I did it. It's like that TikTok sound. Like, I'm not gonna do it, girl. I was just thinking about it. And then it's like, I did it. <laughs> um, I got some super cute emotes. Oh my God, are those the ones that you've uploaded? I love those. They're really good. I want my, um, I want them to approve my, I've, I added a bunch. Of animated ones and I think that I actually really like them more than I expected to and they won't they haven't been approved yet and I'm like just approve them <laughs> like they approved the gift cat one so fast I was like shocked like immediately um I think the favorite one that I have uploaded though right now is this one which I think I have assigned to tier three but like the cozy the cozy campfire cat I'm feeling it. The vibes are immaculate. <laughs> um, this is a painting, by the way. Uh, so far, it's 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 very much so in its rough sketch phase, 
this is the idea. Uh, I never do isometric work, so this is the first time I'm trying it. Um, we're gonna see how it goes. It could be terrible, but I'm ready to embark on this journey um, with you. <laughs> It will look so good. Thank you. You always have so much faith in me. It's it's good. It's good for um. It's good for my motivation. I'm like, you know what? Jim Matt will like it. <laughs> um, it's for my friend. I still need to stream for more than that. I started streaming actively from today. Oh yeah, I saw that you went live. I um I lurked for a little bit, but then I had to go um pick up my roommate <laughs> and I was like okay it, it was not planned um but I did watch it for a little bit it was it was um I've never thought about doing like YouTube videos and stuff it's 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 smart though because I always want to talk about stuff that I watch so <laughs> I would like accidentally get myself copyrighted though like immediately just like so quick just so quick I would I would I would do something and then I would get because I literally got copyright hit a little bit and I didn't even use the song like twitch is not my friend when it comes to that so I'm, I'm already on thin ice I didn't even do anything wrong yet <laughs> I guess like you know if even if, if twitch like automatically looks for it even if no one pursues you so like it will flag it and then it will like you won't necessarily get claimed but it will like mute your thought or whatever it's very it's very interesting it's not very smart that's the problem <laughs> oh wait i forgot i'm not a real fan <laughs> i know i literally used her song in my instagram story today um it's gonna haunt me forever i should have just i should have just been like you know what i'm, I'm literally her biggest fan but I'm not her biggest fan because <laughs> So for anyone who doesn't know, we're talking about Taylor Swift. Um But like I really Oh my god, sorry, that was my printer. It's going in. I'm I like there are I, I I'm like a I don't know, if you did like S A B C D E tiers, I'm like an A tier. Like there's an S tier. And I really don't feel like I'm an S tier Taylor Swift fan, but I'm like an A tier. <laughs> So what I should have said is that, because that feels more accurate. You know, like I know a lot, I'm vibing, I'm going for it, but I don't know. Like, I don't really do any of the sleuthing myself. I just wait for the other smarter Swifties to tell me what's going on. I think I've had like one theory and it, it didn't work. And then I was like, well, that was enough theory for, uh, for me. <laughs> It's really hard, or it's not really hard, and we read in too much into it, and then we just think it's really hard, which is very possible. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. Um. So, anyways, this is supposed to be <laughs> like a, uh, it's like a Asian cafe slash like their beekeeper. So these are gonna be like little bee houses. That's why there's these little like specks of nothing. They're gonna be bees. Um, for some reason, they just have bees on the roof. Don't ask me if that's legal, because my guess is that it's not. <laughs> but I don't think they care. That's just kind of how it goes. You, you know, you don't ask per for permission. You ask for forgiveness. So that's all you have to do. And then you just put bees on your roof. What are people going to do? Say no? Too late. They're already on the roof. <laughs> um, you bought records you can only press. I did buy- I actually bought- I bought- <laughs> So Red, the one that Taylor Swift just released, is my favorite album ever. Like, out of all of them, basically. Folklore is kind of my new favorite, but it, it's up in the air. But basically, Red has been my favorite for a long time. So I bought the the like vinyl records. I bought I bought it digitally the day it came out and then I bought it on iTunes <laughs> or I bought it I bought it digitally the day she announced it and then I bought it on iTunes the day it came out and then I bought another copy because I bought a cardigan. 
so I bought it. I bought this a lot. I've never buy this many. <laughs> so maybe that makes me maybe S tier is just really big. Um, Tosh has missed being able to watch. I think I can't remember if I already read this, but hi Tosh. How is it going? <laughs> I was um at the beginning of this, I was like quoting TikTok sounds and I was like, Tosh would know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Cause I did the um I did the I'm not gonna do it, girl. I was just thinking about it. I did it. <laughs> um, oh my goodness, Raku. Hello, Raku. How is it going? Good evening. What was I talking about before? Oh, Taylor Swift is what I was talking about. It's not very, it's not super important. Um, Hi everybody, what's up? How's it going? I've, I've I've done very little painting so far. This I started with this, so <laughs> no no um I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just making stuff up for you. Good good. How about you guys? I I'm doing good. I think. <laughs> I was telling Jim I ate an, an, like, an entire half of a candy bar like the 10 minutes before stream started. Um, not the smartest move on my, on my end. It was not... It wasn't. It just wasn't. <laughs> I also, I do this thing where I get really sketchy and then I have to erase all my lines because I make too many lines. I'm just gonna erase everything in here <laughs> in the store. Don't mind me. Um, and then I'm gonna, because I want it to be cute. So I want it to be like, like if that's, it, it's it's like round, you know. I don't want. I don't know how they look. They they're like the. Uh, I never draw isometric, so it, this could go terribly, and that is just what we're signing up for. I think I have to look up. The, like, it's like awning. Door awning. Oh, you can make it flat. That might make it easier. <laughs> okay, door awning store. How about that? Yeah, okay, okay, wait, wait, wait. I found a picture of what I'm talking about. So it's like, it's like a, it's like a, <laughs> I'm trying me, I'm trying to like mime how it is. I should just try to draw it. Um, So it's like, it's like this. Nope, it's not like that. It starts up, we go out and then, and then it, it like, it like curves out. I think it could curve out a little more. You know, it, it like it like does this, and then it it like goes across, and it then it does it on the other side. You know, like round awning kind of. Oh, um. There we go. That helps. See? You see what I mean? It's like round awning. I feel like I made it enormous. I made it very square before. <laughs> okay, now it's, it's, it's a really big awning. But I think it's, it's fine. You just have to, um... You don't, like, fill out the rest of this, this circle, apparently. You just kind of let it go straight there. Boom. Hashtag awning tutorial. Thank you guys for coming to my TED talk. Um, I hope you all know how to draw awnings now and if you don't that is not my fault. <laughs> no further questions. <laughs> Okay, 
feel like I'm going to I feel like it's huge on make it a little less tall. <laughs> Oops. Okay, so I have these windows and this is gonna be like the upstairs apartment and then this is gonna be like a I can't I haven't decided if it's like more of a market or a cafe but it, it's like they live upstairs you know and then like they get the roof to, have, to hang out on um, like I'd live here <laughs> that's like what the bar is it's like would I live here the answer is yes, then we're good. Um, actually, I'm going to work on this awning until the end of time, but thank you. <laughs> I only have two layers and I'm already not ever sure what layer I drew on. Uh, so that's a good start, I think. Also, I um, I just finished season three of that TV show called You, which is about like a guy who is like a psychopath, I think, and he murders people all the time. Um, and I'm, I'm thinking about it because I saw <laughs> on one of our news channels one of the news people was trying to talk and he was like well in the show you um and he's like talking about the show and this woman is like what do you mean I, there's no show about me and <laughs> he's like no the show you and she, he's like there's a show called you and she's like there's a show called laura ingram and he's like no <laughs> Yeah. and it was so funny because they're just like I don't even know what they were actually trying to talk about but you're just like watching these two news reporters like talk about nothing because he can't convey the name of this Netflix show I just think it's like you know the onion couldn't make this stuff up like this is just real life and we're just we're just living it it's almost like we've we've um lost the need for the onion a long time ago <laughs> uh also i don't know if everybody knows what the onion is but it's like a satire news site so it like comes up with fake news stories and pretends that they're real but usually they just sound like they're real now because <laughs> everything is crazy I remember I used to like them a lot in college. But like, like I said, now everything is like, it could just be true. It just is, half the time it is true in a way. Which makes it less funny. Okay, it still feels off to me, but I, I think I need to let it go. Or I could never let it go. Both um, equally valid responses. It's just weird because I'm literally drawing in perspective, so like that the lines shouldn't feel that off. <laughs> Okay, how about that? Maybe that will fix everything. 
okay. I feel I feel better about it. I feel like I'm not going crazy now. Okay, maybe I am going crazy. I literally have not drawn on the right layer at all. I give up. I'm just gonna, from the rest of my life, I'm just gonna paint in one layer. I'm gonna be like, people are gonna talk about me and be like, oh my god, have you heard about that girl uh, who only ever <laughs> paints digitally and doesn't take advantage of any of the perks for being a digital painter because she <laughs> Like, what is happening? Why is it? Why? <laughs> okay. Is this even even? It is even. Look at that. Point for me. Nope, don't do that. Don't, don't do that. I was going, my original plan for this was to kind of just have a rough sketch and then redo it, but I always do that and I feel like it just takes so much time. So this time I'm trying to keep the base and just work off of it. Um, so we'll see, we'll see if that works out. I want to have these like... not I don't want them to look like teeth I feel like they look like a a monster's tooth right now <laughs> um I'm trying to think of like what I'm like in the middle of drawing this one thing and I'm working on adding new stuff. It's just cause I'm insane. Don't worry about it. Okay. Because like, I don't know, every awning, it like it, it should kind of drape down on this side. If I remember what awning looks like. Um, pick my roommate up today because they went to work and then I got a call today um, in the middle of I'm just like in the middle of doing stuff like I'm chilling I'm like playing Animal Crossing and I get this phone call and my roommate like literally never calls me um, so I was like oh my god what <laughs> and they, they've, been, they've been really sick I'm like coughing still so like remember back when I said that my roommate was sick well they stopped being sick but at the same time like still had like coughing symptoms but you know how sometimes you can get sick and like have a cough but it's not I don't know I don't want to say it's not serious but like you know you don't have any other symptoms like you just have a cough like it lingers sometimes um and so I just I've been like fine like it's it's just kind of chilling no longer thinking about locking him in the closet, you know? Um, <laughs> and today, the reason they called me today is because they threw out their back coughing. And I'm like, that's it. That's it. That, that, this is how you're gonna, you're gonna go gently into the good night. And I had to, <laughs> anyone has seen Parks and Rec? It was like that part where Ron Swanson has like a hernia and he's like sitting in a chair and he can't move like that that was what my roommate was like <laughs> picked him up <laughs> um so yeah just don't just don't get old uh one and also just don't cough ever and then you'll be fine and you won't have to end up like my roommate <laughs> uh Warhammer says I, the Brit is here hello Warhammer how are you what is up? Um, redeemed hydrate. Thank 
you. Cheers, everybody. Water is very good for you. What if I like, <laughs> just what if I just had like a bottle of, I don't even know. What am I thinking, like whiskey? Like what if I filled this entire thing up with whiskey and then like I just pretend that it was water? You guys wouldn't, you'd be like, oh, stay, stay hydrated, stay healthy, Fauna. And I'm like chugging alcohol in the middle of the day. <laughs> I don't know why I thought of that, but I just did. Um, got a mock test tomorrow. Oh, that sounds stressful. What is it for? I don't know what a mock test is. Like, it's like a fake test. Isn't that good? Aren't fake tests easy because they're fake? Or is it really scary? <laughs> throwing stuff again guys i'm sorry <laughs> i need a better like ipad setup because when i paint i'm like i don't know i always hunch over not the real but the exact same thing okay so it's like prep you don't feel do you feel ready then or are you like really nervous I never took mock tests. I feel like. I don't think it was really a thing. Okay. 90 years later, we have awning. I feel like that's good on it. A little flat, but it's fine. Don't think about it. <laughs> well, you guys are free to think about it. I'm telling myself not to think about it so I don't get distracted. I'm very easily distracted. Well, it's all about management theories and leadership theories and principles of management. That sounds literally terrible. And I was a business and accounting major. So I feel like I would have done that. And it sounds, <laughs> I think I was literally, a, I think it was a business administration major technically. Um, because I don't know, college is stupid. Um, I, I can't defend it. I, wa I used to call it business management and then I'd get corrected because it wasn't. Um, so that sounds very hard. I wish you all the luck. But I'm sure you got this. Like, why is this not on the right layer? What's, what, did I, what am I doing here? Tasha says, I am annoyed that payment option is currently unavailable. Tasha, why are you like... <laughs> it sounds like life with Twitch is so hard for you where you live. It just sounds like it never wants to be your friend, honestly. I feel like that's one of the benefits to living in the United States. I kind of want to, now that I've been playing Death Road to Canada, it just makes me think of Canada and I'm like, I shouldn't just move to Canada. <laughs> like what if the zombie apocalypse does happen and Canada actually is the safest place? Like I should just go there now, just in case. Um, also, I got the closest ever for anyone who doesn't play this game. Basically, it's a zombie apocalypse and you're trying to get from Florida to Canada uh, before you get eaten by zombies. And I got it to seven days left to Canada and it sounds bad, but it's literally the closest I've ever gotten. Because uh, that game is, is hard. <laughs> I 
suck, but it's all right. <laughs> I want to do a Death Rogue stream at some point. It'll probably it will be an extra stream because I don't think anyone will know what the heck I'm talking about, but <laughs> except Tosh, Tosh knows what I'm talking about. <sighs> um, okay, what does? I'm trying to make this awning look um, realistic, and I uh, I thought it would be angled at first, and now I feel like it's it's just like I'm just gonna put lines on it. That's the smart thing to do. God, I'm breaking it. Why is it? I don't know what we're undoing and redoing. <laughs> oh no. How much have I undone? There we go. Okay. I, I fixed it. Does that look good? I think it looks good. That's it. All right, now if someone else just wants to color it in, that, that would be great. <laughs> I mean, just kidding, honestly, because it's usually the easiest part. I feel like the door would already be open. If that makes any sense. I know that we're not at all done, but I'm going to color it in a little bit. Because <laughs> that's the most fun part. Oh my god, that is aggressive. Okay, maybe that sign would not be super orange. Let's do the building. <laughs> Ooh, okay, wait, lighting. Where's, where is the light? I think the light would be... Hang on. I have thoughts. Thoughts are being had. I promise that I am capable of thoughts occasionally. Right? Because then if the light is there, and then the roof... The roof is also light. I'm going for a very orangey vibe right now. Because the idea is that, like... I don't know. I think that the light would be, like, coming in a little bit. I feel like the sign also would be almost like a whitish, but not not that kind of white. If that makes any sense. I usually just kind of like play around with the colors in my color palette until I like something. Honestly, there's not a lot of. It's all very uh, gut feeling. I guess you could say. Okay, the pink is too pink. It's too pink. Hang on. 
Also, if any of you guys have ever played Stardew Valley, I base the bee, the bee houses off of the Stardew ones. Because I just felt like that is... That's the vibes. And then the light would kind of... I'm trying to think. It would go almost across this way a little bit, but not a lot. And I liked the gray for the roof. And we could do that. We might put an accent color there too, because that's a good spot to put an accent color. But for now we can just make it gray, which is a little boring. Maybe we'll do like a blue gray. Know that I'm cheating, but I really like color, so <laughs> they only say if you're doing art that you should do the um like your line art first and then like colors, but I just I don't know, I just get impatient and I don't I don't care enough to be to wait. So <laughs> it's it's called the YOLO life, I think, is what is what I've gone with in the end. Um I I highly, highly recommend it. I also deal with all my problems by kind of just hoping that they'll go go away. Uh, honestly, it works out pretty well. I would say it works out like... 80% of the time for me? That's, that's a high enough success rate for me. Oh my god, what is happening? Oh, I'm using a pencil. Okay, screw it. <laughs> I think that the flower box would be white, right? That makes sense to me. Um, I'll make the awning the same color as this sign. And then the windows. Ooh, what is this? This is like a green. Oh, that's a nice green. Now I'm distracted. I'm just gonna add the green to these boxes. Oh my god. <laughs> I get so excited when I do colors. That's why I do it because like, <sighs> painting for me is like tricking my brain into convincing myself that it, um, like I have to do the hard work, which is like the line art and stuff. Um, and like the decision making. And then I have to do like the easy fun work, which for me is like coloring so that I stay engaged, but then I can't, <laughs> I have to like balance it out uh, so that I don't get, if I do all the fun parts first, I will just stop and I won't do any of the hard parts later, if that makes sense. Basically, it's how you get stuff done when you're really lazy. Um, So if you ever feel like you can't be an artist because you're too lazy, you could. You just have to also paint lazy. <laughs> and it and you just you just know it will work out for you. I want the light to kind of be streaming in too, so we're gonna try to make it look like it, it's kind of coming in and hitting everything. And there, you know, light. This was definitely one of the harder parts for me to learn when I was starting. I think just because I don't know. The way that you imagine stuff isn't really the way that it is. So I would always imagine the light to be one way and not really remember what it would actually look like. 
and that caused a lot of problems for me. Um, but I've, I've, I've sort of worked on that. I mean, it gets easier. Everything gets easier. You just kind of have to push through the parts that are not easy. And I feel like, I don't know, my own personal art journey, like, I like to look at what I've done um, every year. So in, in 2018, I compared myself to 2017, and in 18 to 19, and 20 to 19. So like every year, I sort of look back on the things I made that year. It's, it's sort of something I do around New Year's. Um, and I look at the stuff I've made previously, and then I, I also will compare it to when I first started. Um, and I always can see improvements from when I first started, because I mean, that makes sense. Um, but in a way, for me personally, I also always... <sighs> I'm trying to put it into words. It, it... Improvement for me isn't some... It's not super linear, I guess. And it's also not super, um, how should I put it? I don't want to say noticeable. Noticeable is the wrong word, but I guess in a way it's, it's more subtle than I previously had thought it would be like it's not that I look back on my old art and I, I hate it. Like yeah, there are some pieces that I don't like and I, I <laughs> um, and I, I've learned why I don't like them and I, I really don't, I just kind of, I don't throw them away, but I kind of just like filter them out, I guess. Um, but the very first things I made are still not the worst things really that I've ever made, if that kind of makes sense. Um, because I was playing it safe, I guess you could say, when I was doing that. And it made it so that it actually turned out nicely and they're not the worst pieces that I've ever made. The worst pieces that I make um, are, you know, like every piece I make isn't, an, isn't necessarily a direct improvement from all of my previous work. Like it, I think it's easy to think of it linearly that way, but... I mean, maybe this is different for everybody, but for me, at least personally, um, it, it, it hasn't been. And I'm, I'm kind of just sharing it because I feel like it's easy to think that art is, is more linear than it inherently is. And like, if you're not improving in, in a way that you're looking for in every, in every turn that, oh, you're not doing good enough, but I'd argue that you are. <laughs> um, and it's weird to look back at art I made three years ago and like it more than stuff I made like even this year sometimes. Um, but it's like the learning comes slower and more sporadic than that, if it makes any sense. I might just be rambling, so I'm sorry if I'm rambling. Um, but I, I just wanted to say it because I think it's important to know that it's not, not that it's not that easy, but that it, that your journey is going to look different all the time, even to you. And I don't know, it's just interesting. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. Like, some of my favorite stuff that I've made this year, for example, I made, um, like, in April. <laughs> and I, I think it's easy to think that, oh, because I liked all those pieces more, that everything I've made all summer and fall have been worse, but they haven't been really. It's just the way I'm perceiving them and the way that... 
just learning works and how having your best your best pieces aren't that controlled you, you kind of just make art and they pop out and they pop in they don't they don't necessarily have that i don't know like you can't just decide which pieces are good you just keep making art and then some of them turn out you really like them and then some of them you just don't um another thing I've gotten used to is being a, while being an artist I probably don't need to waste any time cleaning up these lines but that's just what I feel like doing I want to give the roof of this building like a gray a gray top I don't even do that much architecture, but when I'm in the mood for it, I like, I'm really in the mood for it. Um, I don't know what we're doing for a background either. I might keep it very abstract. Pan Pan, hello! How are you? What's up? Oh my God, the donut cat emoji. I want Twitch to approve the rest of my emojis. Or emotes. I guess they're called emotes. Um, Twitch, just like do what I want. I'm using this emote. This is <laughs> this is my judge cat emote, and I'm I'm telling it what what I want. <laughs> um, okay, it doesn't care though. <laughs> Twitch doesn't really care. Um, I've seen other people use knives, though, in their emotes, so I think that my knife cat will be approved. <laughs> uh, if it's not, then we will we will cross that bridge when we get to it. But I think I think it should be approved. I think that it should be okay. It, I mean, who knows? Maybe the cat's about to cook, you know? So it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't have any negative connotations unless you put them there. What if Twitch is watching my stream being like, see, this is why we can't approve your emotes. <laughs> uh, my animated ones got approved, but they don't act animated outside of settings. It's so weird. Wait, what? Oh my goodness. Twitch, give us, give us a bone. It says that I have three slots. So I did three. Uh, and we were gonna see what happened. It's interesting though, because like, that's kind of the whole point of them being animated is that they're gonna move inside of chat, but like, I don't know how they work. <laughs> I don't know how Twitch works. When I first started, everyone was just telling me um, how, it, how, how it happened, like this. They don't show up moving. Well, it moves for me. Like, I can see that. Pan, like it. Wait, on your screen they do, but in chat they don't. In my chat, they're moving. In my chat, at least, they're moving. Um, like, that's that's what I'm seeing also in my chat. So maybe... <laughs> oh my god. I <laughs> Poor Pan Pan. I really like the KK one. So... <laughs> Twitch hates us. Twitch, come on, be my friend. Be my friend. <laughs> That's good to know though, lol, so I'm the issue. <laughs> That's how I feel every time I try to fix something, is in like, oh, good to know that it's actually all my fault and my problem and everyone else is fine. <gasps> I love the KK, I love it. Mine are just my my cats, but they're... <laughs> I don't want to give them away because I really, really like them. I think that they're cool, but one of them is, <laughs> is like a... <sighs> it's like a dabbing cat. Um, so it's like this. And then the, the lights are, are like your, your hype emote, so they change colors all the time. Oh, so good. I, I I'm, I'm so... I don't even know when it's going to be relevant, but I love the way <laughs> it looks. So... 
Um, also, this is looking so good. Oh my god, you think so? Thank you. <laughs> I I never do this, so I'm just waiting for it, honestly, to to crash. Not crash and burn, I guess that's that's aggressive, but like if it went terribly, I would be like, yeah, that's fine. That makes sense. <laughs> My expectations are are close to the ground. Um, I don't know. I guess this is early in the morning. Are bees awake early in the morning? When do bees do their job? I would assume it's just all day. Like they take shifts, right? There's lots of bees. Um, these look just I, I made them like based off of the stardew bee houses <laughs> um honestly because i don't look at other bee houses that much so if i thought of a bee house like that's how i imagine bee houses <laughs> when do bees wake up do bees even sleep i mean they have to when google tell me the things when do bees wake oh do bees hibernate too when do bees wake up for work <laughs> <laughs> Once the hive is established and the night temperatures are in the 50s to 60s, bees normally work from sunrise until just before dark. In the spring and fall, sometimes they start a little later waiting for the hive to get warm. Oh my god. <laughs> so there's not they're not like working overnight. They're all just going to sleep. Okay, wait. Now I need to know if they if they hibernate. I mean, do they hiber- I don't know anything about bees. When the outside temperature drops to 55 degrees, it signals to the bees to start gathering for winter warmth. Bees are active all winter long. Um, okay, so they don't hibernate, but I have heard that they kick out all the male bees in the winter because they take up space and they don't do anything useful. <laughs> and it's like, you know what? That sounds right. Let me Google that because I'm pretty sure that's real. Do bees kick out males in winter? All ma in winter in most parts of the U.S., all male bees get kicked out of the hive by the female bees, and they either starve or freeze to death. <laughs> should we? Should humans? Um, do you think that approach would work for humans? <laughs> um, I, <don't> know. <laughs> I just think that's insane like it's so aggressive like it's not like the male bees like leave and they don't just let them in like the females are literally just kicking the male <laughs> bees out and being like literally starved to death <laughs> like it's so aggressive I, I you know what I support you female bees. You do you. You do what you gotta do. <laughs> I just, I'm just entertained. Oh wait, should I have even done that? Probably not. I'm gonna erase. Also, by the way, um, Pan Pan, you're... Animal Crossing field, again, it looks so, so, so good. I got the wheat field item in Animal Crossing and I did not know what to do with it. I have, I have zero plans. <laughs> but maybe I'll make a wheat field. It would be a good way to fill up the area if I'm trying to get my rock garden to move again. Which I am probably going to do. Ugh, oh, it's just exhausting. I, I, <laughs> I'm not emotionally prepared to move my rock garden, but at the same time, it's gotta happen. It, it just sits in the wrong spot. Um, it just needs. To, oh God, I f forgot what brush I was <laughs> using. <gasps> oh, thank you. I, I'm, I'm surprised you. I, I don't know if I'd be able to put up with the lag. I really don't. But I admire other people who do these badass things on their island. Okay, this is not even at all. <laughs> That's fine, I think. 
I'm using like a drawing guide, which is super helpful, but it it means that any like rounded edges or something I want to do, I, I have to like turn it off for, and I just haven't done that yet. <laughs> Okay, this is like a giant flower box. <laughs> but they, there needs to be lots of flowers, right? Otherwise the bees would die. Is that when, when do beekeepers feed? Okay, now I, I'm like looking up beekeeper life so that I can make a, a realistic painting. Do beekeepers feed bees? It's common practice. Okay, so they do, they do. It's common practice for beekeepers to feed their bees dry sugar, sugar water, pollen pallets, and our high fructose corn syrup. Man, I'm pretty sure that's terrible for humans. So I guess bees can just eat that. Nectar and honey is their carbohydrate. Okay, so I guess they don't need flowers. Like it's helpful, but I guess, I guess you just feed bees. Man, I know nothing about bees. <laughs> I just know that they're cute and they make honey. <laughs> yeah, Pam Pam's like, they're very cute. That is all I know. Right. That's, that's like the extent of my, um, my bee knowledge. It has served me very well for my whole life. You know, I've never needed more than that until today. I'm trying to like draw a straight line without the guide and it is the most wobbly line I swear I've ever made in my life. <laughs> we might, we might keep it though. It gives it character, I think. Oh, I should probably put a cat somewhere. I like having cats in most of my paintings because I feel like these people definitely have a cat. That's all I'm saying. Like, I, I can't imagine, I mean, honestly, everyone who I've ever painted has a cat just because I just imagine everyone having a cat, but that is besides the point. <laughs> or maybe it is the point, I don't know. Okay, I feel like, I don't even know. I think this was supposed to be a chair. <sighs> it's, it is not though, so goodbye. Okay, what should I, okay, thinking, thinking, thinking. What should I do next? I think I need to move. This character got really small some for some reason. It's hard to draw Chinese characters in general, but then to put them into perspective was like a whole other thing for me. <laughs> so it was a little it was a little rough. Right? Like it would my brain trying to draw them and then drawing them in perspective was just like not it was not having it i ended up just drawing them flat and pu pushing them into perspective because it it's hard also i'm left-handed and I don't actually know what you're technically supposed to do, but I remember when I was learning characters, I was honestly was doing them all backwards because I was left handed. You're like, there's very direct ways you're supposed to draw stuff. But if you draw with your right hand, like you go like this. But if I'm left handed, I want to go the other way. And you're not actually <laughs> supposed to do that. 
Um, I don't know. I guess the world really was not made for lefties, and this entire language is is my proof of it. If any of you are left-handed, it's like the pain of trying to use those horrible right-handed scissors as a child. Like, I was literally about to cry. Um, because... <laughs> They easily make scissors that aren't made for lefties or righties, you know? They're just, like, they're just scissors with, like, rubber. But, like, there's the ones that are, like, they're flat against your thumb if you use your right hand. If you use your left hand, it just is aggressively digs into your hand. Um, and it is, it is the worst thing. It is literally, <laughs> it's the worst thing. Pamron's like, the world was not made for lefties. It's like, did they left-handed? It's like you thought that we didn't exist. Like... Those desks that like, you know, your right hand gets to like rest on the desk. And then if you're a left-handed, you're just like writing your arm in the air because there's nothing to put your elbow on. <laughs> um, also binders. I used to take paper out of my binder and write on it and then put it back because the, the, the binder thing gets in the way of, of your hand again. <laughs> Those are the things that ailed me in school. I don't really, I can't think of any, like school is where it was the worst. I also had the kind of, those chairs that had like metal things in the back of the chair. So if you had long hair and you laid back in it, it would like steal your hair and you'd go to sit forward and it would rip your hair out. <laughs> Does anyone know what I'm talking about? Um, just pain, just pain. But that's not like a left-handed person thing. That's just like people with hair, I guess, aren't supposed to sit. <laughs> See, like, this is impossible. Like, these already don't make any sense to me. Uh, for the record, these are real characters and they do say something. Um... But it, they're such a mess. <laughs> what do they say, though? Um, okay, so only one of the characters was one that I remembered learning. The rest uh, are kind of just like, I vaguely know what they are, but I, I basically looked them up in the dictionary, which is sometimes very useful. Uh, and sometimes you'll show it to your Chinese teacher and she'll be like, this doesn't say anything. Um, so there's probably, I'm trying to like think about this. Like, a, like there's like a 50% chance I would say that what I think that it says is what it <laughs> is what it is actually translating into. Um, but here, once I, I'll, I'll call quit stalling. Let me, I'm just trying to clean up this line. Okay, so this, no, oh, that's an eraser. This whole first section, this is just one character. Um, I, I know it's like two pieces, but they, they're, they're supposed to be like closer to each other. So it's one thing. So that says cat, which is Mao in Chinese. So it's, it's cat. And then... Um, apparently this whole section says, I don't really know what this is, but together with the cat, it should say purring. Uh, <laughs> again, can't really super verify that that's true, but I think that it's true. And then, um, this whole, actually, I think this part is purring and then this part um, is the rest, and that should say pancake. So it's purring pancake. <laughs> um, I don't know why I'm obsessed with alliteration. It is alliteration, right? Um, so that's what it's supposed to say. Uh, if I pull up, if I pull up my phone, 
Hang on. I'm going to I'm going to try to pronounce it. So the pancake is Lao Bing. <laughs> That's what it says. And then if I do purring, it's Mao Jiao. So it's Mao Jiao Lao Lao Bing. And I'm definitely not pronouncing it correctly because I suck at it. But that's that's the vague idea of it. What if I show this to my Chinese teacher and I'm like, like she finds it and she's just like, this is a, <laughs> I don't know. Somehow it stands for something really inappropriate. Um, I would just be heartbroken. <laughs> Sounds good to me, El. <laughs> See, you guys are on board, so it's fine, I think. Psh. Someone who is actually Chinese is gonna come in here and be like, you actually are um, ruining the language. And I'd be like, yeah, that doesn't surprise me. <laughs> Tosh says, the actual payment system that we have is unavailable, that's why. Oh my gosh. How does an entire payment system be unavailable? That doesn't, that sounds very inconvenient for people. Oh, <laughs> thank you Tosh for the 11 bits. I love the Corgi one, under maintenance. That seems like a big deal. <laughs> like if PayPal just went under maintenance, I would be very confused, but thank you. Um, and also you redeemed hydrate, so I will hydrate again. It's important to stay hydrated, everybody. Thank you. Aww. I love the, the little emotes that they give you for, like it's called Corgo. Is that not the cutest thing ever? Also, these people definitely have a Corgi. Also, I imagine like a black cat and a Corgi. That's what I'm imagining. Using points for this first. <laughs> Yeah, you're now bits leader one. Oh my god, that's... And you're my mod. <laughs> I love that you um, get to post whatever links that you want, and then you just link it back to random clips of me that are me being very weird. <laughs> When I think no one is watching, Tosh is watching. <laughs> okay, um, there should probably be a ground, right? Ground exists, I think. It would just be like a, a gray. But just kind of, I don't know, I'm imagining that something will exist down here. We might not. We'll probably won't do like a floating thing. And then maybe the it gets it gets brighter. That makes it look like it is super high up, so I might not do it this aggressively. <laughs> the circle color wheel is nice, but it, it it's a little less precise, so sometimes it can get a little... A little much. I'm just gonna do this, and then... Blur it. It's good enough for now. We're not done, so... <laughs> Posh redeemed waste your points. I, um, you're a baller. That's all I have to say. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, oh my God. Okay, now Tosh redeemed waste your points baller edition. Now you're really a baller. <laughs> 
Oh, Fauna, please don't pass out. Wow. Oh my god, Tosh, you're just hoarding points over here. Okay, well, I already ate the rest of the chocolate bar because I'm not safe. So let me... I should probably eat an apple, right? All right, I'm gonna get the apple. I could grab another Oreo, but that seems unsafe. I will be right back. <laughs> I'm having a, a life crisis on whether or not I wash this apple. I already cut it, but I, I think I didn't wash it. Now I lost the apple. <laughs> Give me a minute. Okay, I am back, and I have an apple. I didn't, I found it, it is back. It is, it is back and I am back, so. <laughs> okay, hang on, now I'm gonna eat it. For anyone who doesn't know, Fauna Don't Pass Out is just someone telling me to eat because then I'll literally pass out. Um, I mean, maybe not literally. I've never actually passed out, but we've gotten close. <laughs> Wait, Pan Pan says... I miss eating apples. Are you not? Can you not eat apples? Are you allergic to apples? I actually just met someone who was allergic to apples and I was very surprised that was a thing. Um, also, Pam Pam, what did you do? How did you fix it? How was it broken? <laughs> um, oh, that emote is really good. Rage. I love it. It is <laughs> rage. Wait a minute, isn't like a million, don't a million things have formaldehyde?
Yeah, wait a minute, that's so dumb. Why is it not- <laughs> Why would you have to turn on animated emotes? Who wouldn't want them on? You should have to turn them off. <laughs> Yes, everything it feels like. It was a sad transition, but I'm used to it now. Okay, guys, for reference, I googled, is formaldehyde in apples? And it said it can be found in fruits and vegetables, meats, fish, crustacean, and dried mushrooms. Okay, so, like, what isn't it in? Dairy? <laughs> um, br bread? Bread. Bread. Bread and dairy is what I got out of that list. Um, and I'm lactose intolerant, so if that happened to me, I wouldn't even eat dairy. And I would be sad. Okay, I've eaten a piece of apple and I will now not pass out. Because honestly, if I eat chocolate to not pass out, it just like, just comes back later. But if I eat like an apple, then I'm, I'm like energizing myself. I, I mean, I think, I think it's good. <laughs> um, okay, what were we doing? I think I need to add the rest of the windows. I mean, I, I have everything, but we're getting there. Oh my God. <laughs> um, yeah, it's a natural preservative. So people use it in pretty much every project, product and organic thing. I have to get stuff directly from a farmer's market or butcher, most meats, and then tons of veggies and fruits, but not all. Jesus, that's terrible. Did you, wait, so did you recently find this out? Oh my gosh, I can't even. <laughs> I have one of my friends who's actually currently taking one of those tests they, where they like test her to see what she's allergic to because she is always sick. And so they think it could be allergies. And I'm like, I think she's afraid it's gonna be like something, you know, really basic because she, she has been sick. Like, she just gets sick all the time. It's, like, not predictable. So. I don't know. I feel bad. It's- I don't- I, I'm, I'm just, like, I'm a huge- I love eating. So, like, I already have a hard enough time coping with, like, the dairy <laughs> of it all. <laughs> yeah, I love life. It's so fun. I love that cat emoji, though, for real. I call it looks at sky cat, but I feel like it's just, <laughs> I felt like depression cat was a bit excessive. <gasps> I found out in 2015, it took me years to figure it out. Oh my gosh. I, <sighs> that's a lot. That is a lot to deal with. It is one of those things too, where it's like, like, how am I allergic to something so basic? Like, you'd think that the list would be... <laughs> I don't know. Just less aggressive. Like, there's just stuff that you shouldn't be allowed to be allergic to. Like, it just... <laughs> I don't know. It just seems ridiculous to me. Life is hard enough. Man, trying to make this window box is like taking my entire life. That one is like hard too because I think that the world has really kind of gotten caught up with gluten-free being like a food thing that people have. You can get a lot more options and a lot of restaurants will offer that kind of thing, at least where I live. But now, but with something like that, like, <laughs> I don't know. It seems like an extra layer of difficulty. Also, I love apples. 
That's a. I don't. I don't know, man. I don't know. <laughs> I was also a really picky eater as a kid, so I. I can't imagine if I had had anything. Food-wise, like allergies, as a kid, like I don't know what I would have ever eaten because, like, I hated every food. I don't know how my parents put up with me. <laughs> I would eat a lot of saltines, though. I love saltines. I mean, who doesn't love a salt cracker? It's like one of the best things in life. I'm just trying to put a blanket here and it is harder than I thought it would be. But I think that they'd have a blanket draped here, so that's why I have to add it. I want to put a fire pit up here, but that would not be safe. They should not have a fire on the roof. <laughs> so I'm not, I'm not condoning that lifestyle for them. They need to not burn their life to the ground. <laughs> Even though it, it it would it would match the the vibes. Saltines. Did you ever do the saltine challenge to see how many you could eat without drinking water? No, because I was really obsessed with them like before the internet was was like around, and I feel like that's when I found out about the challenge. Um. So I've never done it. Have you? Have any of you guys done it? I'm, I'm curious to know where you got. Cause I bet I, I I drink a lot of water, so I don't know how I would do. I'm googling the record because I'm curious. Twelve saltine. Okay, well this is the record for how many you can eat in a minute. Which someone ate twelve saltines in one minute. Trying to eat six saltine crackers in 60 seconds with no water. The, okay, world record for most... Okay, it's it's giving me... I guess it only has how many saltines are in in a minute. It's not giving me the record of without water. So I'm guessing it's higher. <laughs> we don't have saltines here. What do you... What do you put in soup? That's like why we technically have them. They're like soup crackers. Um, I can't think of the other- I think th they're not croutons, um. What are soup crackers called? <laughs> oyster crackers! I thought I had to do with oysters, <coughs> but they're- they look like little- they're like little circle crackers. Um. I guess you could use those, but that's like- the saltines are like the same thing, they're just like flat, basically. Thank you, <laughs> man. Knew exactly what I was talking about. <laughs> um, I would have been so. I loved eating them as a kid. I, like I could eat an entire box, like four sleeves of saltines, in like two days. Easy, easy. I used to do it middle school. I think I could do six or something. I also drank tons of water, so I think if I did it now, I'd suffer. Yeah, I don't know if I make it. Like. It hurts, it, it, it's not like, if I eat and I don't drink enough, like it, it, I, my mouth will get cut up basically. <laughs> so I would definitely be feeling it. Like if I did this challenge, I would have to be prepared um, because I, I think I would hurt myself, but I would do it because, I don't know. It seems like the type of thing you gotta do. I can't explain. I, I can't really give a good reason. I just feel like now it's something, it's on my bucket list now, you know? Communion crackers. Oh my god. My. I don't. Uh, so, okay. I used to go to church when I was younger, and I swear my church had like 
the like as a kid i think that you think it's going to be really exciting to eat a cracker during during church because you're like hungry so you're like oh my god yeah we get to just snack but they're the 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 worst crackers in the world <laughs> like they make these crackers so dry with no flavor and everybody puts their hands in this basket of crackers it's not good it's not good <laughs> i had to cut down my water intake because i would feel extremely dehydrated on a hundred ounces oh my god what is that a thing you can do <laughs> I, I've i never had that. The worst that I've ever had is I would just be self-conscious about how many times I had to go to the bathroom in a day. And I was worried that my job was going to think I was just like goofing around in the bathroom all the time. But I literally just had to go to the bathroom like every hour because I was drinking so much water. Especially because work is boring. So like, of course I want to drink water. Like I don't have anything else to do except work. And I don't want to work. So my body is like, well, you can drink water. Because if I bored eat eight all day, like that would be so bad. So I guess I turned it into bored drinking. <laughs> I used to drink 200 to 300 ounces. That sounds like a, a lot, baby. <laughs> I'm Googling conversion for a second. Um... So one gallon is 128 ounces. So that's like, that's like two and a half gallons of water. That's a lot of water. Yeah, you definitely, <laughs> you definitely shouldn't feel dehydrated if you've had almost a gallon of water. That's intense. Um, 300 is my max before it's toxic. I've never even measured my water intake that seriously. Like I have this giant thing. Uh, I think that it is, I think it's 32. It's like 28 or, or something. Like the average is like 16 or something or 18. So this is like a lot bigger. Um, sorry, there's like a sticker on the bottom, so I'm trying to... Oh, wait. OG four... Oh, sorry, I'm way off. This is 40 ounces. Um, and it, I feel like it's huge. Wait, maybe I should keep the sticker on because I'm forget. Oh, it says it on... <laughs> okay, it says it on the cup. Um, so this is 40 ounces. I probably fill this up like three times a day at least i don't know because i don't wait for it to be empty necessarily to fill it up i wait till there's no ice so sometimes there could be a lot of water and i'll still like refill it <laughs> pam pam says i carry a 101 ounce or three liter jug i would literally chug that in one to two drinks oh my god that is, you are the most hydrated person I've ever, I've ever known. Um, everybody who I'm, uh, who I'm friends with, I'll just be like, have you had any water today? And they'll be like, oh my God, I haven't had anything in like three hours. And I'm like, how do you three, I would pass out. I would just die immediately. <laughs> like, I don't know how, how anybody functions the other way around. Like I would immediately know. And same same with people who don't eat. Like I don't. They're like, oh, I haven't eaten all day. I don't relate. Okay, I I would I. <laughs> if I don't eat, I just lose my ability to do anything else very slowly. Like the further it gets from an eating time, the lower my ability is to do anything. Even eventually, it's even to cook. So like, if I wait too long, I'm just in this. Paral par paralyzed state of being starving and having not enough energy to even cook or anything it's very bad this is this is why i have fauna don't pass out as <laughs> a point redeem because <laughs> streaming is like the longest i go without eating anything honestly which is probably a problem all in itself i should probably be able to go like three hours without eating but what can i say they tell you it's good to eat lots of like lots of meals often and then i did that and then i got really used to it so 
was it really that good of a solution? <laughs> yes, all my friends are like that. My best friend will be like, I had water a few days ago. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> oh my God, that reminds me. I have one of my siblings is, is like this and um, straight up, she hates water. Um, and so she will go weeks weeks without drinking any water my mom had to force her to water down her sodas and juices with water um and at least like juice is a little bit better but like she will go so long without having any water and she will be very physically dehydrated and will not drink water because she doesn't like it and i i'm like what is what's happening <laughs> Like, doesn't want tea, doesn't want cold water, doesn't want room temperature, bottled water. Like, just doesn't like water. <laughs> OMG, that is so bad. Weeks. Yes, like, she'll drink some stuff, but, like, she does not drink any anything, like, close. And, like, usually people, even if they don't like water that much, probably have, like, a glass of water, like, every day or so. Like, just because. And she's just like, nah, no. <laughs> I can't imagine. I'd literally die. Probably actually literally would, would die because I would, my body would not be able to handle it. I spoil it with water. Like not to be dramatic, but I would die <laughs> instantly. Like what? What? What do you mean? Like, I don't know. I don't, I don't, it doesn't compute in my brain. She's not dead, though, so I guess that's a good song. <laughs> I guess it's humanly possible. There was some girl on TikTok who was talking about how uh, she doesn't she doesn't sleep because she has like horrible, vivid nightmares every time she sleeps. So she just doesn't sleep and she can go like days without sleeping just because she's trained. It's really bad for you, apparently, but she's like trained her body just not to sleep because she doesn't her brain doesn't want to sleep because she's afraid of sleeping and i'm like what <laughs> um yeah people are like i need my eight ounces of water but it's supposed to be like eight eight ounces glasses of water yeah you're supposed to drink a lot of water um i, I they say though that drinking coffee and teas and stuff in a way is still good because like I mean, I don't think soda applies because I think that I don't really know what soda is. Um, pretty sure that like I don't know. Um, <laughs> I'm not even sure how safe soda is in general, but um, like if you have coffee, even though that's not really water, like you're still getting water intake. So like some people are still getting it, but like I don't think you're getting it if you're just drinking soda all the time. I mean, I guess I, I, I guess I could be wrong, but I don't feel wrong. <laughs> also, I know that I would not be these people who I'm, I'm painting because I would literally not leave a blanket outside. It would give me anxiety. Not even for good reason. It just would give me anxiety. Although, also having bees would give me anxiety. Like, I love bees. But that thought, that thought gives me, makes me nervous. Um, uh, what am I, okay. Balcony. I keep Googling cute for the reference because sometimes the stuff that comes up, I really don't like the look of. Oh, your internet was being wonky. Oh, I hate when that happens. It drives me insane if I don't have good internet, which sounds spoiled, but I just have a remote job. So like, I, 
<laughs> One time I lost my internet and I was literally afraid I was gonna get fired. I was like, I promise I'm not lying. I just can't work. <laughs> it was terrible. I was so behind on all my work too. And then on, I was like ready to log on early, had all this stuff. And then my internet died. And I was like, this has to be a cruel joke, right? <laughs> Yeah, coffee actually doesn't dehydrate you like people say, but you also don't want to drink coffee all day because of the acidity and the caffeine. Oh my god, I don't know how people drink coffee even every day. Like, if I, I don't even drink caffeinated tea. If I drank a coffee and went on stream, you guys would literally be concerned. <laughs> And I had friends in middle school who were like drinking coffee every morning. And I was like, it is too young. You are being, we're too young for you to have a coffee addiction right now. Like, stop drinking coffee. Like, I was so anxious for them. I hated coffee. I thought it was gross. I kind of still think it's gross. Not gonna lie. I'm, I'm, I'm on the, I'm on the tea, the tea team. Um... But I think it smells great. Uh, my Mac is extremely old, so it disconnects from the internet randomly multiple times a day. I have amazing internet, which is why I usually use my PC. Yeah, I should have gotten a PC because I stream on my Mac and it, it usually works, but then sometimes it is a giant pain in the butt and it is not predictable which time it will be which, so I just have to go with it. <laughs> Also, because Apple's doing that thing with the new M1 computers, they, it, like, they're still, they have, like, random bugs, especially if you're streaming, because streaming is, like, so intensive and you use all these programs, so sometimes it gets really angry. <laughs> I just, um, I just go with it, though, and, and pray that I don't do anything to anger the, the gods that day. I think I gave, um, I usually give, I keep my computers as long as possible, um, and my parents don't really care about computers, so I give them, uh, my computer when, like, it's when I'm done with, <laughs> when it's, like, too old to work, because they don't really, they, they need them for very, like, rare scenarios, so they don't really need a nice computer, they just kind of have to have one just in case, because sometimes... There's, like, websites and stuff that don't really work well. You know, if you're on a phone or something. Um, and they're, like, oh my god. Sometimes I help them with stuff and I, I, I'm physically pained by how slow they are. <laughs> Which I always think is funny because I don't really think they got a lot slower necessarily. I just got less tolerant of how slow computers used to be. Like, I, my computer is from, I think, 2016. Um, and it still works amazing. So I don't, I mean, I get not amazing, amazing, but like it's, it's functional. So it's just weird. Like, I don't know. I, I think that they got better at making computers last longer. Maybe it's bias, but that's how I perceive them at least. Um... I use Windows though for work because they require it. Which I always think is funny because then I have, <laughs> I have some clients who use Macs and then they judge me for using Windows. And I'm like, listen, buddy, it is work required. Don't, don't, don't judge me based on what my job wants me to use my computer for. Like, what do you, <laughs> so funny. <laughs> The only reason I have a MacBook is because I need it for my music video production. I bought it refurbished and then upgraded it uh, at the same shop once. They take parts or the whole computer and put it morning towards a new computer, which is cool. Yes! Oh my god, I like that. Because I always feel bad. Like, I don't want to throw out any old devices. My parents literally still have my, like, original first ever computer I've ever had. Like, I don't even- <laughs> I would not want to just throw it away. That would- I would be- completely um i don't know emotionally distressed <laughs> they say e-waste is really bad now too which is 
super awesome. Definitely not anxious about that. Uh, I prefer Windows, especially when it comes to customizing and manipulating settings and troubleshooting and gaming. Yeah, I have not even tried to put anything for Steam on my Mac. I'm positive I could, but I just haven't done it. Like, Macs are really good, but, like, I totally see why you bought one for music and stuff, because... Like, Apple, when Apple does something for any sort of, like, art thing, I feel like they nail it. Like, all the music stuff that they have is really good. And obviously you can get good stuff on a PC, but, but Apple is, like, really good at that. My issue is I always get locked into an ecosystem. Because, like, if you have an iPhone, then it's easier to have a Mac because, like, there's weird conveniences. And if you have, like, a Google phone and you use, like, a, a Chromebook, like, it, they're really smart and they lock you into things. And I've been with Apple for a lot of my young adult life, which is when I bought a lot of my media and stuff. And Apple does not let you transfer anything ever. So... I don't know. I just, I just, it's hard. They make it really hard to switch and they do it on purpose and they know they do it on purpose and it's a smart business move. But at the same time, I'm always just like, so now what? <laughs> okay, this is the deck. There is a deck. That goes too far down. Amazing. It is a very small deck, but it doesn't need to be large. It's just it's one of those like annoying, really thin porch things where like you can maybe stand on it, but you don't like hang out there. I mean, they have the whole roof. They're fine. Um, Apple is great at taking what already exists and making it better and easier to use. Yes, they really are. And I kind of <laughs> when I when smartphones first became a thing, I definitely think I convinced my parents that Apple was like the way to go <laughs> and like in a way they kind of they, you know Apple had stuff going on it was good um but now that my parents have only ever had iPhones they probably could not use a Samsung phone to save their lives like my mom <laughs> my mom still has an iPhone 8 and she j actually she just got a new one because it just stopped turning on because um, that's a really old phone at this point. So she took it into the store and they were like, well, if you want another Apple phone, you'll have to wait a week. Otherwise we have like some Samsungs and my mom called me and she's like, so what should I do? Uh, I don't like, I like what, what do you recommend? And I was like, you should not get a Samsung phone because she doesn't know, she's had an iPhone for like, you know, five, eight, whatever years. and. App, that's Apple's thing is making it really easy to use um, so like there's no way my mom would die like it, what, it, <laughs> I've always wanted to be a Samsung user because they have those great customization things uh, and like my, my mom doesn't care she's my mom <laughs> and so I just know like I don't know. My mom has literally called me and been like, I don't know why it's not working. And I've asked her if she was in Google Chrome and she was literally in Safari on the Google website, like at google.com. And she's like, I'm definitely in Google Chrome. And I was like, okay, but what does it say in the top, at the top of the bar? And she's like, it says Safari. And I was like, so you're not in Google, <laughs> Google Chrome. Like, she's not gonna, she's not, she would literally not know how her phone worked. <laughs> like, I would be trying to, to force a, 
force it you know <laughs> like i'd have to set up her whole phone and she'd have no idea how to use it she also asked me how where the camera was when she first got like an iphone 5 and i was like mom there's a button on it it says camera it's like right in front of you <laughs> and she's like oh my god yeah like like no no if my mom getting a, a, a customizable phone over my dead body <laughs> <gasps> like, I'm sure it'd be great, but also you would not understand it at all. So would it be that great? And she's like, oh, okay. And then <laughs> just waited for, I think she's the iPhone 12 now. But yeah, anyways, they just think it's funny. Like, they do have a lot of good stuff going on, but Apple did a really good job at making it simple. And now, like, that's all my, now I think my parents are stuck forever. So sorry, mom and dad. <laughs> I had to teach my parents how to use their wallets at Disney, and it was so frustrating. Oh my god, wait, what? Like, like you mean like the tap card or what? I had to remind them every morning. I even showed them how to search for the app, and my dad was like, it is not showing up in the search bar. And I was like, you need to type it in. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god, that reminds me. Another thing my parents once did, I went to see them, and I don't see them super often, so I was like, all right, guys, do you have any phone problems? Because if you do, like, now is the time, like, let me know. And they were like, oh my god, yes! And I was like, okay, what's up? And they, <laughs> they were like, okay, I got this information from my friend, and I need a place to put it. And I was like, what do you mean a place to put it? And they were like, I just don't want to forget it. I just want to put it somewhere and know that it's there. And I was like, well, you could use the notes app. And they were like, <coughs> they were like, the what? And I was like, this app that it literally made for, um, <laughs> the app that's literally, it's called notes. What do you think it's for? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I can't even imagine trying to get my parents to uh, use um, Apple Wallet. Absolutely not. <laughs> I'm sure they will go to the airport and they would um, get their paper tickets and we would not even be thinking about, about it. Like, no way. No freaking way is that happening. And it's like, iPhone wallet isn't that hard, honestly. But it, I, I, it, in a high pressure situation, I can, I could see it being, like, when I'm going at the airport, I'm nervous when I use it. But it, it's just my own, like, there's not actually a reason to be nervous. It's going to be fine. <laughs> I don't even use, I don't even play guitar, so I'm like making this up. <laughs> I play ukulele. Maybe I should, I feel like they're guitar people though, you know? I, I'm basing this off of what I, I think about them. And I, I think that they're guitar people. Pam Pan says, this is how it started. They saw me use it at the airport and they were like, how'd you do that? And then they saw my Disney tickets and it just went downhill. <laughs> oh my God, that's that, that's exactly what would happen to me. Um, I love the Apple Wallet stuff, honestly. But like, I don't know, TSA freaks me out. Like one time I used it and they were like, we have just updated everybody's seats. So if you're using an e-wallet, you're gonna have to refresh it. And I was like, refresh it? Like, I don't know how to do that. And like, right as they were boarding. And I was like, thank you for increasing my anxiety. <laughs> I 
I will say though, one thing I'm glad that the world has changed is that card readers are, at least for me, less aggressive when they want you to take your card out. Cause like, I don't know if this was a universal experience, but I feel like card readers, when, when they were being updated with the chip, got so aggressive when they wanted you to take your card out. Like they were just like, like making error noises. Like it was like, uh, 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 and it made it feel like your card was declined, but like it was, it was just fine. Like that was your transaction going through. And it's like, okay, could you have maybe been less aggressive telling me this? <laughs> and now like, now they have little chimes. Like, they're like, do-do-do, do-do-do. And it's like, yeah, that's what it should have been this whole time. Like, why, why were you yelling at me? <laughs> I don't know. I'm just sensitive, okay? Like, I'm trying to get in and out. I'm not I'm not trying to create drama and here's this card machine and it is beeping at me like I am robbing the store. <laughs> I'm glad you agree, Pam. <laughs> also, I play piano, but I want I don't really feel like a piano is a rooftop instrument. I wish that pianos were more portable because I like playing piano. I've had a really hard time learning to like even play the ukulele. So I can't imagine playing the guitar because there's even more weird finger like requ requirements. I don't know. I wanted to play clarinet when I was a kid, but. Um. I don't know. It looked really hard. I thought it would be really easy, but apparently, like, I, I saw a friend do it and I realized you had to, like, breathe very specifically and I was like, oh, this is not gonna work out. Ooh, I play piano too. Oh, really? Oh, I love piano. It's the first instrument I learned. I picked up ukulele in college. Um, I sucked, though. Like, <laughs> I wanted to quit piano so bad and I think that my teacher like didn't even fight for me because I sucked. Like I was the worst. I think I was like one of her worst students and I didn't care at all. Like I was just like, mom, let me, let me give up <laughs> because I can't read music very well. I could only, I could play it if I knew what I needed to play pretty easily, but it couldn't, I couldn't tell you what I was reading. So it was always like, my, we had to go through and like write the letters to the music I was playing. And after a while she was like, you should be better at this. And I was like, well, I'm not. So <laughs> I always love the advice. You should be better at this. Okay. Wow. Thank you. That was so constructive and helpful. I'm now better. <laughs> um, I forget the clarinet is a real instrument. I just think I'm squid or <laughs> Isn't that so weird when something has been just like, I don't know, so ingrained in you that you forget that like it exists outside of that context? <laughs> also, am I on the right layer? Thank God. I don't, if I started putting color on the wrong layer, that would be it for us. Be game over. Um... I mainly play my ear also. My classical teacher hated it, which is partly why I quit. It's hard. I don't I don't know. Like maybe some of y'all are like music prodigy in, in, in watching this, but I sucked at at it. Like if I had to read it, I needed to like <laughs> I couldn't just read it. I needed to look at it and be like, okay, so this says it's in the key of C. And then this one has the line through it. So this is C. And then if I wanted to play anything else, I had to like count backwards or upwards and then I could play it. And it was, it was not, it was not what she wanted. Like I, <laughs> I could understand it if I sat and thought about it, but I couldn't just like, you can't just put music in front of me and I'm just going to play it. Like, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> and honestly, I think that that disappoints my mom, but you know what? Oh well. <laughs> I did my best and I moved on, so I think it worked out. My mom said that she always regretted him. 
not doing an instrument when she was younger and i was like i literally would rather die (laughs) than be in these piano lessons (sighs) i was kind of dramatic I can read music, but I don't need to, so I don't. Yeah, exactly. Like, what's the... I don't want to say what's the point. Obviously, there's a point, but... But yeah, like, if you're what you're doing, you don't need to read it. Like, oh well. And I think that because I couldn't read it, she kept me... Like, she didn't know what to do with me, so I... (laughs) I think I was behind everyone, technically, but I did not care. I did not give a single crap about whether or not I was behind in my piano lessons. <laughs> like, I was like, fine. <laughs> Never mind. Like, one time I was a kid, uh, when, I, when I was a kid, I was in swim lessons. I sucked at that too, by the way. And my punishment for not wanting to swim was that I had to go sit outside the pool. And guess what? If you don't want to swim, that's the best freaking punishment there is. <laughs> so I just sat by the side of the pool and I was like, this is great. <laughs> so that's like exactly what happened to me with piano. Like if she, if I sucked, I was like, great. Are you going to kick me out? Cause I'd love not to be here. <gasps> I started playing when I was three, but no one wanted to give me an official lesson until I was five. But then I quit at 10 and my mom wanted me to keep going. Cause it was ahead of my age group, but it was literally the worst because she'd only teach classical and reprimanded me. How, what? Who reprimands someone for not needing sheet music? BRB, yeah, no, take your time, but like, oh my god. Um, that should be. That's like, I don't. <laughs> maybe Prodigy is like a little aggressive, but like, that's like some next level stuff. Who gets mad at someone for not needing sheet music? That means you memorized it. That's the whole point. <laughs> what? <sighs> I'm like pressed about this. I don't, I don't, it does not compute in my head how that, that's a thing at all. If I didn't need sheet music, my mom would be like, wow, you are the best thing ever. But I, I just wrote like, for anyone who doesn't understand, oh God, that's, sorry, there's a siren. For anyone who doesn't understand music, basically you can play chords and piano really, that's like easy stuff, I guess. And like, there, the, the keys that you can be in go from A to G, right? G, A, B, C, D, F, G, H, I, J, K, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, E. Wait, no, it goes to E. Wait, G is after E. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Yeah, it goes to G. I was right. I wasn't going crazy. Um, but like C is like, it's called middle C. So that's like where you start. Anyways, I could like read middle C because they make middle C really obvious. They like, I think they draw a line through the middle or something. And that's how you know it's middle C. So like that one always stuck out because it was like, oh, that one is the C. But then everything else is like up or down from it. And I could not for the life of me, like just play that. Like I needed to write, okay, this is C. This is A. And then I could play it a lot faster. Um, <laughs> so in my head, I just wanted to put the letters above all the notes. And I, that's not reading music. So I always got like reprimanded for not being good at it. And I was like, I don't care. <laughs> and I could read, like there's other things that reading music notates, like how long you hold the note and like blah, 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 blah. blah. And I could understand all that, but it was like, couldn't ask me to to just do it quickly because it was not happening (laughs) yeah middle c is the one you can always understand right i could always count on middle c that's my that's my uh my my homie (laughs) lol your swimming story that's why my mom never considered grounding me though i never got in trouble because i was very smart yeah that's relatable i also never got in trouble but mostly because i was boring (laughs) um if she did, I'd be happy to not socialize. Punishment would have would be hanging out with someone. <laughs> That's how I always felt. Like, remember when the punishment was always like, go to your room. Like that would have that was my paradise. Like, I I've been there all day. I'll go right back. Like, I'd be fine. <laughs> then they had to start changing it where it was like, I'm gonna take away your phone. 
I'm going to turn off the internet. But now they don't turn off the internet because everybody else needs the internet. <laughs> I was um, young enough to be part of the dial-up group where I would secretly use the internet. Because if you were if you had dial-up and you use the internet, it would stop the phones from working. So if your parents were expecting a phone call, sometimes you being on the internet would stop it. And all they'd hear is like the like static noises. <laughs> And I used to just hook up the internet and my dad would be like, why isn't the phone working? And I'm like, quick, undoing it. And I'm like, I don't know. I, it wasn't me. Definitely was not me. <laughs> God, I hate dial-up. It really was a frame of reference, though, because... I always know that it, the internet could be slower, you know? Like, I'm never like, oh my god, this is the slowest. Like, I know what the slowest is. And I've been through it. Oh my god, the bar. The bar was so low. The bar was so low. It was very painful. I would, I would not go back. Like, time travel, if I time traveled into the past, that would probably be the worst thing. Like, I Google everything now. I Googled beekeepers, pictures of guitars. Back then, that would be my whole day. <laughs> I'd be right-clicking, saving all these images so I wouldn't have to download them again. God, what a different time. The sound my brain makes trying to understand people sometimes. <laughs> Why is that so relatable, though? I swear I have, my parents, when I was a kid, always used to tell me I had selective hearing. And I used to get really upset because I was like, I didn't select not to hear you though, because I think I have, I don't know, some kind of auditory processing disorder because like, I don't understand people almost all the time. If, if you have a heavy accent, sometimes I don't even think you're speaking English because, like, the, the, the cadence in my brain stops me from even being able to understand what you're saying. Like, I have such bad, like, hearing abilities. I mean, I kind of go with it, but, like, at the same time, it would be nice to understand people. Like, it, like if, if I'm in, like, a loud situation talking to someone, I'm just like, yeah. And then they're like, what? And I'm like, oh, no, I probably shouldn't have said yeah to, to whatever. Like, <laughs> like, if I don't know what you're saying, I'm just going to be like, yeah. And then, like, hope, pray that that makes sense in context. Usually doesn't. Like, they're like, what's your name? And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> It's rough. It's rough out there not being able to understand what anyone's saying. This is why I'm, I'm streaming because you guys have to write stuff so I, I can read it. <laughs> At least my eyes work for now. Although like I'm very blind without these. That's why I have the lose the glasses redemp redemption because I'm like Oh my god, I would love to try to play Breath of the Wild without these and see if we'd <laughs> just be five minutes of death. <laughs> and then me trying to be like, is this one start over or is this one go back to the game? Like, I don't know. I'd probably restart the game and then I wouldn't know what I was reading. It's like when you play a game and you select the wrong English or not English, the, long, the wrong language. And then you don't know how to get back to languages. <laughs> And you're just trying, you're, you're like Googling other words in other uh, languages to try to get back to selecting your language. Uh, yeah, I get that. My best friend is like that. She'll just nod or say yes or laugh. And I know she didn't hear me. Oh my God. Why is that so relatable? I swear I do that to my friends too. My poor friends. They're like... Yeah, that's like that this like semi uh deaf person that I <laughs> just let follow me around. I'm like, thanks. Happy to be here. <gasps> I've always had it though. I've always my whole life been like this, and my parents just thought I was choosing it. And I was like, I didn't choose this life, mom. It chose me. I never really had like an emo phase in in um 
in like high school or anything. I feel like I'm having, I'm like rediscovering all the emo music that was popular when I was younger and I am now like playing it. Like it's like I'm, I'm like recreating it now. <laughs> But I had, I had a friend um, who in high school would never agree that she was emo. She's like, I'm not emo mom, I'm seen. And that was <laughs> like, it was just, I just remember being like, even back then I thought it was hilarious. I was like, aren't those the same thing? And she was like, I mean, yes, but also the difference. And I literally couldn't tell you what the difference was because it never made any sense to me. It was like, <laughs> I don't know. They were so minute. It was it was ridiculous. <sighs> I imagine it's frustrating though. Um, I unfortunately hear everything: very tiny sounds, multiple conversations at once. Oh man, that sounds like a lot. I if if I'm in that kind of situation, it's really loud. I end up only hearing one conversation, and it's never the conversation I'm in. It's always a stranger who's near me and I'm just completely listening to whatever they're talking about. And someone is literally trying to talk to me and I have no idea what's happening. Uh, <laughs> it's not, I'm like, okay, refocus, refocus. What are they saying? I'm like, yeah. And then it, and my brain is useless, just useless nonsense going on up here. <laughs> Um, I feel like I haven't drawn anything. No. What am I even doing? I guess I'm just like cleaning up lines. Or I'm being hard on myself. We probably have done a lot. <laughs> no emo phase. Wow, I have been emo my entire life. <laughs> I was too preppy. I was super preppy. I am. Um... Like, I didn't even listen. Like, the, the most emo thing I ever listened to was, like, All American Rejects. Um, I didn't even listen to, like... Oh, my God. Who am I thinking of? Panic at the Disco. Like, I didn't listen to them. I didn't listen to... Uh, I didn't even listen to, like, Fall Out Boy until, like, they got really preppy. And then I listened to Fall Out Boy. And then I, like, went back in time and was like, Oh, you know what? This song called Sugar We're Going Down is really good. <laughs> And everyone else is like, yeah, we've known that for a while, but thank you for just joining in. <laughs> I know, all American, e I, they're really not. And that was like the closest I got. Maybe, maybe all time low, but I really don't feel like that counts either. I did really like all time low though. So that's why I feel like it doesn't count because I really liked them. <laughs> God, I don't, yeah, I was super not emo as a kid. But all my friends were. So I just kind of like, oh my God, all my friends though, I don't know if anyone knows who these, this band is, but all my friends at the time listened to Hollywood Undead, um, which is like, I don't know why any anyone who's not an adult has ever heard of them, but they basically just sing really inappropriate songs. Um, and like no one, like I, <laughs> I started learning all the words, but... Uh, to like the songs that they really liked, but they were um, like you couldn't sing a whole like a whole even like I don't know what they're called couplets whatever like you couldn't sing more than ten words without having like a very harsh swear or alcohol or like him something about your mom like they were all so inappropriate <laughs> and I I just never. Like that was it. That was like all I. That, like I just listened to whatever they listened to because I didn't have a personality yet. And I was like, "This is fine." And then I was like, "Wow, that was weird." <laughs> Never was a Hollywood Undead fan. I don't blame you. I think I think they're really weird. Um, I don't I don't get the uh, like I can't defend it. You know, like it happened. <laughs> but I couldn't I couldn't for the life of me like like defend that. Okay, I want to put a box in here, but I don't... I want it to, like, look good. So let's see if I can... Make a box. I'm gonna go this way. Like, I don't know. Just Google, Google, if anyone is interested in them, I'm not gonna, like, play anything or, or like, sing any of it. But, like... 
just just like google i think the one of the songs that my friends really liked was called everywhere i go which is terrible um and then uh there was a christmas song where he talks about like santa's testicles at some point it's terrible like it's it's ri- <laughs> i could probably sing all the words because that's just what happens when you learn lyrics to a song at at 13 but um <laughs> it's so gross terrible like why do you hate us who who like i don't know how any adult like thinks about this stuff and is like okay with it like it's it's bizarre it it, it feels like a fever dream of stuff that happened but also there's one that's literally like fully about someone who um like wants to be not alive and it's it's like to it's set to this very upbeat tune to sort of contrast those sad thoughts and it's 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 a lot it's a lot so <laughs> it probably says something about my friends that that was their uh, one of their favorite songs <laughs> But, you know, what are you going to do? It's high school. Everyone is uh, doing weird stuff. <laughs> LOL, not Santa. Help. <laughs> um, loving the progress on this. Really? Ugh, I always feel like I don't even do anything on these streams. Like, I'm just sitting around. Um, what am I here? If we go to the replay. this is So this is before uh, I started, which was me just trying to make the box, which... Alone took like five minutes. Um, here, I'll, I'll just like let this play. I don't, <laughs> but this is just me making the sketch. I need, to, I'm out of water. So I will be right back. I'm going to get water. Okay, I literally ate like half the apple and it's still going. <laughs> okay, so maybe we did a little bit more than I thought, but that's good. See, it's, it, we were, at least we were um, doing stuff. <laughs> Where did my um, pencil grip go? I have to use a pencil grip because I, I think that I have a death grip whenever I have a pencil. So I... <laughs> um. Like on, I don't think you could see anything, so I won't really bother. But basically, um, 
<laughs> sorry, it's just really loud in my apartment today. Um, basically, right here, where I, if I hold the pencil and I'm drawing, I push. It's hard for me to show you, but I'll push on my on this this finger, the pencil, and I'll draw like that for hours, and I like. I developed like a, I don't know what it's called, like a bulge or something on my finger. Yeah, at least. <laughs> so like I indented my finger, but it got really angry. So it like, it like became, it wasn't like a zit, but it like, it, it, it kind of like hardened over that area and it hurt a lot. <laughs> so I had to get a grip so that when I'm, when I'm, when I'm painting and I have the death grip, it, it, it like, it's not as, it doesn't push as much on that one area. And now I, I, I like can't draw like with just the pencil at all. Like it hurts so bad. Um, Pan Pan is like, yes, I used to do the same thing. It's not good. It's real bad, actually. <laughs> um, and so yeah, now I have to have this. I have to have this. I want to get a different one though, because, uh, the Apple Pencil 2 has like capabilities in the actual pencil. So like if I double tap close to where I would hold it, like see, I can, that that just came up on the screen. And like you can do, like it has cap It has capabilities for, uh, like, like, you know, like stuff. So like it sucks when I, when I put, when I put the grip on cause it, I, I, I can't touch it anymore. And they have other grips that, that allow you to do this, but, but yeah, you know, <laughs> I just won't. They're honestly really cheap. Like I think this was a dollar or less, but I, I, you know, I bought it online. So I had to pay for shipping for it, but they make other ones. Uh, I also have to take it off to charge it, but that's fine. I, I feel bad because it's loosened it up a lot. Um, like I'm, I'm afraid at one point it's just gonna get so loose it's not gonna. I don't like it slide. If I if I'm pushing too hard, it will slide up the pencil while I'm drawing. <laughs> for anyone who's ever wondered why I use this grip, it's not it's not for looks. It's because all I have a death grip. And I can't shut it off. <laughs> but at least I'm not alone. I'm. <laughs> oh, I didn't mean to highlight all that. I feel like the solution is to draw lighter, but I, I literally don't know how to do that. Okay, so if I make this a little smaller, I'm trying to like. I don't know. Put this box in this box. You know, like it's gonna it's gonna have flaps. You'd think it would be easier to put a box in a box, but you know what? That looks good enough to me. That is where, <laughs> that is where it's staying. I could, I could, I improve it. Yes. Am I going to? No. Um, and that's that's all right. Oh my god! What is all this stuff? All these weird lines are just hanging out. Um, I also think it's where you hold it, not just the pressure. Yes, I, I think you're right too. I've tried to change the grip, um, or like my grip, but I'm not paying, I'm never paying enough attention. So I always go back to, to the, my default way. Just cause like, I don't know, you get in the zone and you stop thinking. <laughs> or I, I stop thinking, I should say. Not not everybody stop thinking. Some people have uh, more capabilities and brain power than I do. Um, 
I don't hold pen or pencils often, so mine's not bad anymore, but I still have a tiny red mark from where it would dent and swell. Oh my god. I have a dent, too. Like, if I... <laughs> if I compare both of my fingers, one uh, it is my normal one, and the other one has, like, a literal, like, it's a, there's a line down the finger. Like, I've permanently destroyed <laughs> my finger. <laughs> Oh well. These are the these are the sacrifices we make for art, you know. Um, at least I'm not alone. But yeah, it, it's very painful. So, like, even if I'm only drawing for a couple minutes, I can I can feel it, and it's it doesn't hurt as much with other pens or pencils, but like with this one, I, I always notice. I'm just, I, I admire other people who I see drawing, who I know draw a lot and don't need a grip because I'm like, wow, you just have superior hands. <laughs> I think I just do things aggressively though. Like even the other day I was playing on, on this keyboard and I'm like pushing so hard that like the sides of my fingers were getting tired. And I don't think that's normal. Like usually your fingers get tired if you're playing guitar because it, it, it's it's a lot on them, but usually piano, I never hear about anyone complaining um, about piano. <laughs> so I was like, pretty sure this is a me problem. Ah, this is not on the grid. Okay, so that is a bumblebee. These don't really look like bees to me, so... <laughs> I'm gonna get rid of them, and I'm going to... I'm gonna make the bees now. They're still gonna be really small, but... It's just gonna be like... Okay. <laughs> Their antennas aren't that big. I don't know. That's a little... Like, I don't... I don't want them to be big, but I also kind of want you to be able to tell it's a bee, but also not really. Like that. That seems... That's as big as I think they can be. So if I just drew the black line and then a little head... That's a bee. If I make them yellow, I think that they will make more sense. Actually, you know what? I don't need to... <laughs> I don't need to be making individual bees. It's okay. Maybe only a couple bees are outside? I don't know. We've established that I don't have a lot of bee knowledge. But I feel like some of them would be... Bee. <laughs> closer to the... Um... I don't know. To the... Hives. There we go. Bees. That's good enough for me. I'm not trying to hold my bees to some crazy high standard. They just be chillin'. So some of my pencil lines got like very thick randomly. Uh, sometimes it's helpful, but I feel like sometimes it makes things look weird. I'm going to get rid of the wall. Ooh, BRB gonna get a snack. Oh, I love snack. I it's to the point where I like have to cut back on snack. <laughs> like I wanted to eat an Oreo just now when I went to get water, and I was like, no, you don't need an Oreo. No Oreos. But also, I think that <laughs> last time I ate an Oreo, it became a meme <laughs> on stream. 
<laughs> so now I'm like, mm, do I want Oreos to be my brand? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I guess it could be worse. Worse things could be my brand. Like me being haunted by the fact that I said I wasn't a very big Taylor Swift fan. Um, the roof probably is also not going to all be one color. I think we're going to do shadows at some point. So like, I don't know. Like a slightly darker version of this. Just like under the beehives and then back sort of behind these shadows. Not even like that crazy or anything, but just like you know, something. Gotta have something. And then I just think that some of it would just be lighter. I don't know, just like light streaks, I guess. That's what I'm imagining. Um, and probably the same thing with the awning. I'm just gonna make like a lighter. It's just gonna hit that side and sort of. Okay, I think what is next? I kind of wanna do, okay focus. The guitar big enough? Sometimes I have a problem with scale. Maybe the guitar should be bigger. Oh, I never remembered to add the pillow back in. Let's add the pillow. I just had like, um... I don't know, like a puff? Poof. Trying to get it to look like soft like a pillow is, is, is hard. <laughs> Maybe I'll just do the one. It looks uh, like the table though with one, so. This is what being an artist is, is putting a lot of thought into a very small detail that probably only you are going to think about, but <laughs> that's fine because that is that is just how it goes. I'm just gonna erase that and erase this. I want it to have like a round feel, you know? That makes it look a little chiller, I guess. <laughs> Ooh, June June! Morning Fauna doing something right now, so I'm gonna leave a lurk. Oh my god, that is a really intense emoji. Oh my God, it's just the cow. It's like a full <laughs> turnaround of a cow. Siren V Moo, I love it. Do my, oh, Fabulo, that's my uh, stream thing. I was like, do my emojis have my own prefix? Like, did I just do it without them? I want that. I need I need that cow in my life. That cow needs to be my friend. Um, but yeah, anyways, good morning. I'm glad, I hope you're doing well. I, it sounds like you are, so. I'm glad, if you are, I'm glad you're doing well. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by. Okay, wait, so maybe the guitar is too small. <laughs> Let me see if it will look better if I make it larger. Scale is still something that like, if I'm not actively thinking about it, it gets super messed up. 
There are kid guitars, too, so it doesn't necessarily mean it, it's super off, but... I made it slightly bigger, so I think that's fine. Mostly because, like... I don't know. Like, there is a sense of scale in here, but everything could be, like, changed. Like, the, the size of the honey things might not be that big, and then, like... I don't know. I think it, I think it looks better now, though. I might have made it smaller when I did the sketch. Isometric paintings are a lot of fun. I definitely. I'm have I'm like have I'm I'm having the time of my life. <laughs> Um, I think I always thought that perspective would be easier, but in a way, these are kind of easier because you don't have to. Everything is the same size, no matter how close or far away it is. And like the lines stay the same for the whole painting. Because like if I'm drawing in something in perspective, if I move like a box further away from me, the entire all the angles of the box are different. I kind of have to like redraw the box, but in this case, I can just move it because it's all the same. It's like, it's like, why haven't I been doing these the whole time? <laughs> okay, what's up okay, boxes, boxes. I'm getting distracted again. This is just how it works though, is I, I just, um. I just am constantly distracted and everyone goes along with it. <laughs> okay, is that a bumblebee? I also need to get rid of this color here. I'm always messy when I first put down color and I can't tell if that saves me any time <laughs> since I always have to go back in and like clean everything up. I'm trying to also be like more loose with everything so like I try to keep it... I don't know like more more painterly if it if it bleeds a little bit or I have a little wonky line but my instinct is always to fix it. Okay, so if this is the box. The lid is gonna be not that big. Okay, so if we do right here, this is the lid of the box. Right? And then, hang on, let me delete this extra hanging bit. And then it goes here, and then that's the rest of the lid, kind of. It goes a little bit too far. Let me just quick fix that. There we go. It kind of looks like a lid now. It's hard because at the angle we're looking at, it doesn't really look any different at that corner. <laughs> I don't think it would either. Like I think that is just the way it's going to look. Okay, so now we have the lid for the box. This line is for the roof. So we'll just get rid of that. Amazing. I fixed the boxes. Now I want to actually go to like a cafe bakery that is called Purring Pancakes. Should I make that? Should I copyright that? Kind of feels like I should. 
Why is it that the things that you make the most casually you think sound the best? <laughs> also, why why is this so off? Why did I let this occur? What a travesty of a line. There we go. Like, we're basing the whole painting off of this corner. Maybe we could have made it. <laughs> Maybe we could have cleaned it up. <laughs> I wasn't kidding, though. I told you I kind of just wing it. You can see I was not lying. I'm not even going to color that in all the way. It really doesn't matter. I just don't want to forget that I wanted to make these walls gray. So I have to do it like as soon as I think of it. I know it's a little chaotic, but it, it's fine. I kind of want to put a sign out front. I've been, I've been toying with the idea for a while, but I think we gotta do it. I think it would be, where would it go? If you were to put a sign out front, I'd probably put it in front of the plants, but I don't want to. Okay, it doesn't matter where I put it. I can always move it. Don't get caught up. Okay, so then this will be the, um, the part where the hinge is. And then, okay, that line is, is enormous. Okay, it's huge, but it's a good start. <coughs> okay, so this is the frame. I'm literally like imagining the Animal Crossing one right now because that's all I do is play Animal Crossing. God, I'm obsessed with that game right now. I guess none of you are surprised by that though. <laughs> Let's be real. Okay, so then this will be there that's like good that's that's good that's really good it looks nice i'm going okay is it is it still in front of the flower bread yeah kind of it's kind of a mix i just want to i feel like it would be a little <laughs> see that's what i wanted to do. I just think it would be a little, I don't know, closer to the flower bed. See, now it's like a cute little, it's got like cafe vibes going on. I'm just gonna get rid of this line. I left a lot of the uh, original lines in because I thought I was going to redo the line art, but I think that this saved time. Never really know for sure though. <laughs> okay, so the big things that are left are all the plants. So like plants go in both of these boxes and then in this box, I'm going to redo this plant. I'm probably going to add another plant in here upstairs and add a leaf to this plant. I have to do this flower box. I have to do something inside this window. 
Uh, I want to fix this balcony plant and I want to put plants in here. We're just, we're going, we're going to plant city today. <laughs> well, maybe not today, but this painting is. A, I want to, I'm not going to put any people in here, but I'm going to redo the chairs and tables. Um, this is going, I think, to just be like an empty bin. Like if you were going to eat or something outside, you'd like put your bins in this. So that's my plan for that. I think I'm going to put a pattern. Hmm. I think I'm going to put a pattern on this awning. Just like. Something a little cute right there. Um, I can also color in the guitar while we're here. Just so that I don't forget. I have bad memory. I also think that I'm again I'm imagining the Animal Crossing garden tables, but I feel like this table is very green. And I think that this poof is like a reddish color. Um, I'm gonna color in the rest of this. I was gonna give the box flaps, but I think it's fine. Uh, I also need to put the wall back right here. Cause I erased a lot to be safe. Amazing, amazing. We're vibing. Going to delete uh, this extra line down here. We're just kind of cleaning it up now, I guess. Um, now that I moved, I moved the whole wall. That's not exactly the kind of change you want to do at the end. Foundational changes are not exactly the vibes, but you gotta do what you gotta do. I haven't decided, the only thing I haven't decided is what I want us to see of the inside. Um, because I just haven't decided. <laughs> I'm just indecisive. I don't really want to, I just did that whole cafe painting, so I'm not like emotionally prepared to, to do a whole lot in the, in the inside of the store. <laughs> Aww. Gay Vibes says, hello, hello, my beautiful popcorn eating friend. Well, hello there. How are you? It's been so long since I've been able to get these Sunday streams to work <laughs> and have like stay on long enough for everyone to sort of join in. I haven't had popcorn in like four days. That's a really long time for me. I may pass out. <laughs> Great, I had exams, a lot of them. Well, that sounds exhausting. I'm so glad I'm like not taking any exams right now. I should be, but that's uh I get to decide if I want to take them. So, <laughs> and I keep deciding not to because I don't feel emotionally prepared to study. Mm-hmm, it is. Yeah, it sounds terrible. Do you know any of the results yet? Or are you just sort of, you're just waiting to find out kind of thing? I hope that means you're done for a while though. So that you can like take a break. Because <laughs> it is a lot of effort. That used to be like my catchphrase is like too much effort. So I would just not do stuff. Now my catchphrase is basically like YOLO. <laughs> so instead of me not having the effort, it's just me doing whatever I want with the effort that I have <laughs> left.
I mean, I gotta if I want to make it something in life. Yeah, that, some unfortunately that's pretty true, which is annoying because I don't know. Exams aren't like the best way to test your skills for everything. Like, there's an exam I would have to take to be really good at accounting, or like to get the label that I need, but it doesn't make you better at accounting. No one who I've talked to thinks that they're smarter because they pass that test. So I just keep not taking it. <laughs> so if it's not gonna make me smarter, why would I bother? Like, isn't that the whole point of everything? Is to learn something? Um, and yeah, I know the results. Are you are you happy with them then? I would assume it it sounds it sounds like you're you're if you're doing great, I would assume that it's good. God, I haven't oh man, it's been a long time since I've taken an exam because all the classes if you take I've <laughs> the most recent classes I've taken have been art classes. Uh and most of them you don't really have exams. You just have like final projects and stuff like that. Yes, amazing. Congratulations. I hope you celebrated. Cuz that is a big deal. It's from about an 82 to 100%. It's just like the results on them all. Well, that's good. That's really good. That's like amazing, honestly. Because I don't really remember them all. Yeah, I mean, it sounds like you took a lot, so... I probably wouldn't remember either. <laughs> that is so awesome. 82 is a really good score. At least, like, that I think. Man, these spam bots are just, like, out of control. I get one of these like every stream now. <laughs> oh my gosh. Are you okay? Have you been exposed? scary. That's really scary. Jesus. Yeah, I need to stretch. My um, hands are cramping. <laughs> I'm getting tested on Tuesday. Oh my god. Well, good. Good luck. I wish you- I hope- I hope for the best. That- <sighs> It's crazy that we're still, like, in the middle of all of it. Like, everyone wants to get back to normal, but- It's still all right there. The worst thing is, um, wait, does Corona travel through kisses? <laughs> um, I think it's, I think it's through breathing, right? So I would, I would assume very strongly, yes. Like that's not like a primary transmission or anything, but. I would, I would assume that that is not a safe level of exposure. I mean, but you don't know. Like, it, you could still not have it. It's very, um... I don't know. I feel like I, I've known lots of people who thought they had it and got tested and didn't. And then lots of people who got tested be just for precautions uh, and turned out they had it. So, like... You could be fine. Like, you could be okay. Some people have, like, roommates who got it and then they weren't sick, so. Like, you could- you could be lucky. It's- it's more of, like, a breathing in the same area kind of thing. I think. So, like, it doesn't really matter if you did sort of, like, closer contact than that. Like, you'd want to get tested anyways. Okay, I just need to fix these lines. I'm like being very careful about these coloring ends, but I think I, I should be a little more loose. 
I'm gonna leave that. If I try to erase that, if you guys want, you can yell at me later. You gotta give it personality. Sometimes coloring outside of the lines gives it personality. Not anything crazy, but <laughs> a little a little here and there can can help. Um, I hope my very, very strong immune system kicks in. Um, I actually have a condition that makes my immune system stronger. What? It doesn't sound like a condition. It sounds like a superpower. <laughs> I recently found this out. Well, that... Um, I hope it doesn't come with terrible side effects, like, considering you called it a condition, but it sounds really amazing, so... <sighs> I, I know some people who have, like, uh, they're allergic to stuff in the vaccine, so... I feel bad for them. Like, I got vaccinated so quick. <laughs> I was like, OMG, inject me. Which I'm not, not normally, uh, not, those are not the normal vibes, I will, I will say. Maybe I should make the curtains white. Oh, I don't know. Well, the doctors called it a condition. Yeah, doctors are kind of scary, so I would listen to <laughs> I would agree with them then. <gasps> they went to the doctor school and learned many things. Oh my god, there's so many things I want to do. Every time I like look at it, I'm like, oh, we did so much. And then I like think of all the stuff I want to add and I'm like, oh, we did not do a lot. <laughs> I, I literally can't believe this is the first time I've ever tried to draw isometric painting. Oh no, did I just color that on the wrong layer? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. We're good. We're good. I get nervous. I can't be trusted around layers. Just thinking about going to school to become a doctor so you can basically be in a horror movie every day. <laughs> oh my god, true that though. Have you tried the 3D feature yet? I have! It's really good. I don't really understand how most of it works. I saw like some people did some procreate tutorials, but I haven't I haven't used it really yet. But yeah, it's it's really um <coughs> I just use their little like test things. Um so I don't understand how to like make new ones. I don't even know if you can, but they're really really cool. I'm I'm a big fan. My small brain can't wrap around it. It's too tricky. Yeah, I feel like I'm never going to use it because um, I don't know. I just don't, I don't, <laughs> I don't even know where to start. And like, they give you a lot of cool stuff like skateboards. Um, they gave you like soda cans. Like they gave us a lot of cool things to do. So I think it's, I think it's cool that we have all these options and stuff, but I, I don't know what to do with it. You know, <laughs> Procreate is an amazing app. I I love everything that they do, honestly. Like this this drawing app is like my favorite drawing app out of like everything I've ever used. And like I don't I feel bad, but I do not like drawing in Photoshop. It makes me feel like I'm <laughs> like a bad artist, but I, I just can't. It, it takes me so long to do anything if I'm trying to draw in Photoshop. Like, it's it's ridiculous. 
It's like, can you even draw, bro? Like, I spend like five minutes just like undoing a mark or something. <laughs> I bought Disney Plus for a school assignment. Well, that's that's a that's a that's a good that's a good reason to buy it. I um I support it. <laughs> I unfortunately really like Disney Plus. It's annoying because I don't want to, I'm not going to have all of these streaming services, but they did a good job making me want to give my money away. They knew how to get me, you know? Like they put Kim Possible on there, Hannah Montana is on there. Freaking everything is on there. Everything I've ever wanted to watch in my whole life. It's 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 on Disney Plus. Everything they've been gatekeeping from us for years is just all hanging out there. And it's like, what am I supposed to do? Say no? I can't do that. I don't really know what I am. Um, I just want to put something on the honeybees houses. <laughs> also, I feel like this line is so, oh my God, so thick. So I'm just going to erase it so it's a little thinner. It just seems like it's a little excessive. There we go. Uh, I had to make a report on, on one of the Olaf <laughs> Presents episodes. Oh my god, how are those? I haven't watched them yet. I really wanted to, and I spaced. Um, but at least at least they know what the funniest part of Frozen 2 was, and then they're using it. Because that part was... The literal best part of, of the movie was when Olaf summed up the first movie. <laughs> I feel like that says something about the current state of the whole movie, but I digress. I fell in laughter best four minutes of my life. Okay, I'm gonna watch them today then, because I haven't watched it yet, and I uh, totally, totally, totally wanted to do that. And it, he's such a cute character, like how can you... <laughs> Who doesn't like Olaf? I mean, like, he's kind of annoying, but, like, in an endearing way, you know? Like, in in the way that makes you like him, not in the, like, throw- <laughs> I don't know how to explain it, I just like him. I have to- I did not clean up this box very well. Like, it, it still needs work. I just fixed the lid and, like, walked away. <laughs> um, ooh, give vibes redeem, waste your points. It's a baller move. It's, uh, like, you have to be- <laughs> to waste points, you know? <gasps> I love Olaf. I I really, really liked Frozen 1. I know that that's not like a... Like a... I don't know. Like a popular opinion. But I... I don't know. I feel like people started to hate on that movie. Um, which is fine. I don't think the second one was... The second movie was really that good or anything, but I, I really liked the first movie. Okay, focus on the box. Focus on this box. We need to fix this box. <laughs> I'm like, what have I done? I literally, like, walked away. I really like letting things be chaotic instead of fixing them. It's a skill of mine. I miss watching Cars, like the movie. Really? I feel like I didn't like any of the Cars movies. After, like the first one was okay. And then everything after that I was not, I was not a fan of. I don't know why. I just feel like they... I don't know. I guess they stopped being my thing. I didn't ever really like Mater. And like, he obviously became a really big part of it. And I maybe that's why.
okay, screw it. I <laughs> Sometimes if you're gonna try to make the same thing, you should just do it. And copy and paste. I mean, I'm a digital artist for a reason, right? They have to go together if they're the same. <laughs> <laughs> Lies. Fauna admitted she has a shrine dedicated to Mater. Jun Jun, you weren't supposed to tell anybody about that. That was a secret that I trusted you with. You were not supposed to, um, you were not supposed to tell people about that. <laughs> the people have to know. Do they have to know? Do they really have to know? Because I think I have the right to privacy about my feelings about the Cars movie. <laughs> Wait, Mater is 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 Bummel? <laughs> Wait, who? I oh, they must have different names. Oh God, sorry. <laughs> Um, I have a mural on my wall. Well, I have a whole shrine, so I feel like I've got you beat. <laughs> I guess the secret's out, guys. Um, I wasn't planning on telling everybody so soon, but it just it just happened, and uh, I hope that you guys can still accept me, knowing this this knowledge um, about who I am. It's okay, Fauna. This is a safe space. I definitely will not blackmail you. <laughs> well, phew. At least that's out of the way. Guys, uh, she just promised that I, I won't be blackmailed, so we don't have to worry about it. It's a safe space. <laughs> I was worried. I guess I didn't have a reason to be. What other um, deep, dark secrets should I confess to you guys? Um during our time. I'm trying to think. I don't really, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not a very interesting person. Okay, just, I mean, I probably am, but. It's just like those, it's like um, when you're in school and they're like, tell me something about yourself and you immediately forget who you are. Um, <laughs> like you're like, who am I? What have I done? I hate introductions so much. Like, they're like, introduce yourself. And I'm like, I don't, what do people even want to know? Like, who cares? Like, I don't care. About <laughs> if I'm meeting somebody at work, I don't really care about them. So why, how, don't, how am I supposed to introduce myself if I know they're not going to care about anything? I, if, if anything, because like, what's the point? Which in a way, it's the same thing at school. It's like, no one cares. Or I feel like no one cares. So... Maybe people care a lot. Maybe I'm maybe I'm projecting. <laughs> this whole stream is just me admitting my uh, confusion about the world. I have an obsession with Andrew Garfield as Spider-Man. I am still standing my my Tom Holland. Um, but he did. He just had an interview and he talked about how he doesn't he doesn't really. He thinks that if he plays Spider-Man for too much longer that he's done something wrong. And I'm like, you are an amazing Spider-Man, all right? <laughs> I'm like, you can't do a wrong, like, bro. Bro. Like, I would watch you in a thousand more Spider-Man movies, all right? So... <laughs> Don't act like we're gonna get sick of you, because we are not. We are not. We are not going to get sick. I mean, someone will. I won't. <laughs> I hate those questions about what item would I bring with me if I was stranded on an island. Right? Um, I would bring a communicator device with infinite possibilities so that I would be unstranded. Like, what do you what do you want from me? 
<laughs> oh god, sorry, I like knocked my iPad down. Um Okay, you know what? We're doing a poll. We're doing a poll. I have to remember how to get there, but we're gonna do a poll. I'm gonna launch an official poll. Oh. Uh, I just have to- I don't know how to- I, I wanna make sure I, I get their names right. Okay. Okay. Manage poll. Create new poll. Which <laughs> Spider-Man. Um, but you guys, you can't you can't give away your votes yet. After has <laughs> This is such a weird poll. Anyone who comes in here is gonna be like, huh? I don't I don't this is ridiculous, but I'm forgetting how to spell Toby Maguire. Mag Oh, I spelled his first name wrong too. Jesus. Mag Mag Wire. Wire. Toby's name is stupid. <laughs> Andrew Garfield. Okay, it's definitely Toby though, right? Like. Um. I don't know. 10 is good. Allow additional. Okay, yeah, screw it. Okay, this is gonna be a. a a three minute poll. I, I don't know if that's too long. I don't know how polls work. Okay. I want- can I vote in my own poll? Ooh, I, I think I can. Okay, it's- I- I definitely think... It's definitely Tobey Maguire. A hundred percent. I don't even know what he looked like, but I literally took a look at this poll, or I took a look at them as I was making the poll, and I was like, oh, it's clearly in this guy. <laughs> I keep thinking it's Mick Wire, like Lizzie. Yeah, why is your name Mag Wire? I don't, I don't remember, I don't, like, I feel like it's, um, is it the Dunning-Kruger effect where you think something happened and it didn't happen? Like, if, if someone had told me, okay, is it spelled Magwire? I'd have been like, no. What are you talking about? <laughs> and yeah, and I just spelled it Toby, like T-O-B-Y, but it's Toby with an E. Like, could your name have any extra vowels in it? Like, you put them all in there already. <laughs> Jesus. Um, okay, three votes. Yeah, I, I, I feel like it's obvious. If you pick someone else, you must just, like, hate. You must just, like, hate uh one of the other guys guys <laughs> i took one look at that at those pictures that come up on google and i was like oh it's toby <laughs> isn't he some people's favorite spider-man like how did you even get here why are you even on this list like tom holland for me is bringing up the the, the goal post a lot higher for these other guys <laughs> gonna russian bot <laughs> I don't think you need to. I literally agree with with the <laughs> poll. You said Tom Holland. No, I love Tom Holland. I think that he brings up the bar for the how how the how attractive the other Spider Men need to be. <gasps> Probs because he was the first out of the three. I only made him the first because he was the first one that I think of. <laughs> I honestly need to watch the other Spider-Man movies because I keep not watching them because I keep being like, but we have Tom Holland, so why would I watch those when we um when we have Tom Holland? But like apparently they're good. I'm just a baby. Where did this line come from? Get gone. Oh man, I did it on my color layer jesus this is why i can't be trusted guys and like these lines like i didn't <laughs> it's like a phantom hand i don't even let my hand make marks on the canvas because uh it gets out of control i have to i have to only the pencil can make marks otherwise my hand is just going all over the thing wow one with five votes that's a lot so it's nostalgic no i don't i can't with you falana <laughs> of course they're good andrew plays spider-man there <laughs> landslide i mean i'm not surprised 
if I, if someone voted for somebody else, I would have been. I would. I would want. I, I want you to defend your stance. You know. <laughs> This reminds me of like those am i the assholes on on reddit i literally thrive off of those like i feel you know what? maybe we should do one of these i'll do like a like a channel point redeem where you can like ask me to read an am i the asshole and then we can vote on it oh my gosh tosh two month resub thank you <laughs> finally <laughs> Oh my god, you did not- you did not have to do that. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Look at that, we're at 26 out of 35 for our goal. Uh, we get more emo- <laughs> we just got a bunch of emotes, but we get more emotes if we get even to 35. So that's what I made the goal for, but I need the rest of my emotes to upload. I've got really cool, um, like moving emotes, but they're not up yet. They haven't been approved. Ugh, how do you get this box to go away? Alright. I will sub to you until I can. <laughs> um, hi. <laughs> Aww, June June, thank you so much for the 100 bits. I need to, like, figure out how the hype train... <laughs> I, I don't even know what my own hype train requirements are. A hype train is close. Okay, just tell me- <laughs> Tell me more, though. <gasps> um, which Spider-Man is the most punchable? Toby, Tom, or Andrew? I know, I made the poll for three minutes. You guys, like, you gotta- uh, I don't know how long these polls normally last, but, like, we gotta get on it, you know? I asked Tosh. Yes, we have to know. But that's what I mean, it's like I gave you guys three minutes. <laughs> now we're just harassing my my mod. <laughs> it's okay. You can um you can harass my mods because they're they can time you out. <laughs> um what was I doing? We were painting something. Do I remember what it was? No. It's fine. Gay vibes really waste your points. Um, have you ever played Seven Days to Die? I thought you were talking about that iPhone or like that phone game that was like dumb ways to die. That's what I just thought of. Um, so I'll probably have not played this game. Seven Days to Die is an early access survival horror video game set in an open world. I have not played this. Oh my god, it came out in 2014? Why is it called Early Access? <laughs> it's intense looking. I've definitely not played this. I'm pretty sure I'd be terrible at it. Any game where the view is first person, immediately I'm like 30 million percent worse at it. <laughs> instantly. Literally instantly. Um, Fauna has a master shrine and allows mod abuse. <laughs> SMH cancelled. You know what? This would be it. If that's the thing that I'm being canceled for, I get it. I, I <laughs> the shrine thing more than the mod. Be <laughs> mostly because my mods are my mods are powerful. They can um they can send links without my permission. So they could they could really do whatever they want. <laughs> Y'all, I'm learning German on Duolingo. You mean the- the- the bullying bird? That guy? <laughs> um, it's more open world than exploring. Well, that's cool. It looks very hard. So maybe- maybe the- the, tr like, videos make it look harder- or not the videos, but like the pictures make it look harder than it is. I'm usually terrible at, um... Like, uh, Skyrim, I did this whole, like, went into the settings and everything just to make it so that it wouldn't be first person. Because <laughs> I just, like, cannot, cannot handle it. I don't know why. I think it gives me headaches or something. 
I also suck at Skyrim, so any Skyrim stands, I'm sorry, but I, I'm terrible. <laughs> I have power. Honestly, Tosh probably could have made the poll. I think that mods can do anything. Mods are like superheroes. Oh my god, it's so dark out outside already. It's only three for me still. I didn't ask for this life. My favorite quote of the MCU movies I've watched is probably, it's Thor, Lord of Thunder, not God. <laughs> I really like the bit that they keep showing where um, he's like, it's, it's the TikTok sound where everyone, he's like, the best Avenger, most powerful Avenger. Uh, <laughs> and he keeps trying like, all of those and then it's like whatever tony's nickname for him was i don't even remember what it was but that that's one of my favorite thor things i don't know if i have a favorite mcu quote i do remember being very harrowed by the fact that uh peter parker at one point was like if you actually cared about me you would be here right now and then iron man just walks out of the suit and he's like hi kid and <laughs> just the immediate regret on his face <laughs> I would have died. I would have lost my whole mind if that had happened to me. <laughs> Already looks so good. Thank you, Jim Matt. Oh, I'm glad you guys think so. I don't even know. Like, I'm, I'm just kind of sitting here winging it. I don't. I don't. I don't <laughs> I'm probably doing something, but you know, I'm just I'm just here. Gotta put some some leafage in there. Um, I meant I, I I don't know why I always think I'm gonna paint faster than I than I do. Where is Gamora? I'll do you one better. Why is Gamora? <laughs> I love that part. Guardians of the Galaxy is really funny. Um, they are probably one of the reasons I actually like like the MCU because otherwise the rest of it I was just kind of tolerating until I watched that movie and I realized how good they, the MCU can be. <laughs> I also love the whole relationship with the Flurkin and Agent Fury. All of that is amazing to me. Okay, why is this... Just, just be nice. If I'm asking something to just be nice, you know it's already not gonna go well. Oh, I'm not on my pencil brush. I'm like, why the heck is this line so thick? <gasps> um, like, it's already, I mean, it's as small as I can get it. I'm watching Guardian of the Galaxy, uh, like I'm going through it. Um, that one is a really good one to watch. I really like that one. Um, I I don't I like Cap Captain Marvel mostly. I feel like because it pisses off the dude bros, <laughs> and because there's a flurkin. I love flurkins. Um, I mean, who doesn't? I I love cats. Like. You, you want to win me over? Oh my god, we needed to put a cat in here! Crap. I forgot. I want to do- we should do like a bread loaf cat. You know, because it's like- you know- you know what I'm talking about? Like the bread loaf stance? Where he's like- Bread loaf cat. I forgot to do that. We should probably have put the cat in a box, but I just I have to put this there so I don't forget about the cat. I still need the cap, AMRC, and Age of Ultron. Can't find in my mind I need to watch. Ugh, I always get so confused. I've never watched any of the um origin movies and and 
10 stuff. Okay, check, check Discord. Okay, well, that's... <laughs> hang on, I don't... Hang on. Let me mute. Okay, it's a, it's a joke about <laughs> Frozen. <laughs> That's funny. Um. <laughs> I don't know if it was really important. <laughs> okay, thanks for hyping me up, Streamlabs. Uh, at least it remembered to talk about my Discord. Now I don't have to remember. Um, my subscription will auto renew. Let's go. Oh my God, yes. Wait, you lost your you lost your number one though. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh my god. Okay, hi again, Streamlabs. Um, ta uh, blah, blah, blah. Matt just sent me a, a video <laughs> about... It was like, oh, the laptop is frozen. But it was just like... It was like playing the movie Frozen. <laughs> and that was like what the joke was. It was funny. We were just talking about Frozen. Although, I need to watch the Olaf adventures. I need to remember to do that. It was too much important. You need to agree. <laughs> okay, I need to like spread these out. Streamlabs, you don't need to tell us 8 million things at one time. <laughs> um, he got me on TV that is Frozen 2. Oh, I, I kind of misunderstood. I thought he meant that he could watch it on TV. I get it now. It's funnier now. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just spacey. Okay, wait. Um... I'm gonna make this a dark gray cat. It's more like a brown cat right now, but it will it will improve the cat the cat life will um will change. Okay, so we have to fix the window. We have to um fix the plants we have to make the inside i think once we do all those things we will actually be in a pretty decent spot um also yesterday shino showed up on our happy home paradise island and you know who showed up today judy judy is now on my paradise island and i was like judy don't do this to me don't don't do this to me. So now I have to go back on in. <laughs> I can't take a single break a day from this game because then someone cute is gonna show up. Oh no, I forgot about Buzz. Oh god, hopefully Buzz will come back. I actually really did want to give Buzz uh, a, a friend, and then I I spaced completely. Oh my god. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just thinking about my Animal Crossing Island. Um. This is why we have art streams, so that I do art instead of just playing Animal Crossing all weekend. <laughs> Judy, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Come back next Saturday, Judy. That's what I, that's what I have to say to Judy. Okay, this should probably be like a lighter gray or something. I don't know. Okay, don't color on the assisted line. Bad fauna. Don't do that. It's against the law. Oh, 
oh wait, we didn't, we have to, we also have to draw this bin and these posts and these tables. Okay, we have a lot left. Okay, okay. Focus, focus. <laughs> We've been drawing for three and a half hours. Let me hang on, let me, um. Okay, I started stream. We were probably, uh, we were about here. Okay, so we've done... Okay, so we went from here to about here. Okay, I mean, like, we've done a lot. Like, I think this is already when the stream had started. So, like, I've done... Oh, God. It doesn't feel like a lot. Feels like there's a lot left. <laughs> Usually I can finish a whole painting in the stream. But I mean, I guess this is kind of an ambitious project, so I shouldn't be too surprised. Um, okay, wait, so let's, uh, let me delete these lines. Casually, cruel, in the name of being honest. I was texting somebody in all caps the lyrics to the All Too Well song and they stopped responding. Um, and I, I just, you know, I guess it wasn't meant to be. Okay, um, Jim Matt redeemed witty bad pun. Okay, it's time to look up a pun, guys. Hope you're all prepared for the height of comedic heights. I don't- I don't know if that's, uh, how you're supposed to say it. <laughs> okay, are you guys ready? Um, cause I- I don't think you are, but I will- I will allow it. Why is Dracula so unpopular? Because he's a pain in the neck. <laughs> I like that one. That one is good. I like these. Um, Junjun says, gotta head out and start the day. Have a nice stream. Good Sunday to you all. Oh, thank you, Junjun. Have a nice, have a wonderful day. Um, thanks for stopping by and, you know, for canceling me, but it's... <laughs> it is what we've come to expect. At least what I have come to expect. <laughs> I really like the puns. I think that they're fun. I think that, um... I'm worried I'm gonna run out, though. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, can this pencil line just chill out for a sec? These dad jokes got better every time I hear them. <laughs> Yes, on my life. I'm glad you guys think they're good. I actually really like them. I've always been that person who has, like, just bad jokes. So it makes sense that you guys are also fans. I just attract people who enjoy bad puns. I mean, it's the most fun way to, to be. Like, honestly. Okay, I'm just gonna solid out the color here because it. I feel like I have too much going on because I, I need to redo this basin, obviously. <laughs> obviously. And I should probably do these poles while I'm thinking about it. Okay, if we at least do these poles, then we will have. Um... We will have come away from stream knowing we did something good. Just gonna round them out. I think they were gonna be like square shaped, but it's okay. All right, we have we have the poles. I mean, it's not bad for the first isometric drawing I've ever done. 
You will then have pretty drawing. Exactly. <laughs> you just add poles and then the drawing will be perfect. That's how it works, right? Um, okay, I need to do I need to do this basin. That's what we're gonna do. I keep I keep um assessing if we need to do something else. Like this line. I'm gonna just fix that line. <laughs> There. Oh my god, this looks so much better now that I've like fixed the shape. It doesn't look like it's humongous. Okay, let's just add this bin. I'm probably gonna put something on the tables too if I have the energy. Like I might put flowers or something on them. I think that would be cute. Also, I have to- what is this line? Why is there an extra line here? Go away. <sighs> Sorry, I'm getting a little sleepy apparently. Okay, so this is the basin. I wanted to make it like a rounded tub kind of, so. We're low-key gonna have to do that. By the way, I did my first um, character line art ever. It's okay. I bet it's so awesome. I bet it is amazing. Oh my god. That's so much. That's so hard. I don't even do those half the time because I get overwhelmed. <laughs> so I'm sure it's amazing. Plus, it's your first one. So, like, even if it's literally. Even if you hate it, it's amazing because. That's a lot of work and you should be proud of it. Um, I do stick man art. <laughs> I am, I can do like vague shapes. I have to pretend that a person is like a object, like like a like a plant, and then I can try to draw them. If I think of them as a person, it comes out, it, it's terrible. It's literally the worst, so. <laughs> Go figure. Okay, so this is the this is the bin. I wanted it to be kind of like rounded. Um, I don't really know how to explain that. Like, I just wanted the uh, like there there's like a I don't even know like a like a lip. It might make more sense if, if I can draw it correctly and then like it will explain what I'm thinking about. Like it's it's like there's a there's a bin in like a metal frame kind of. So like there's a rounded bin. And then the frame is a, is a is a square. Because it's like it's like sitting in the bin, kind of like that, and then like it will have a very soft curve in inside. Um, and I don't know why, but I'm imagining it to be like a lilac color that might be too bright for the rest of it. But 
yeah, something like this, you know? And then it's like a metal frame on the outside because it's like a bin where you put your dishes and stuff. Um, oh yeah, uh, I've never used notes before. What? How do you not take notes? <laughs> wow, so will you draw my character as a commission as a plant? No, I will just pretend that it is a plant so that I don't think too deeply into the mechanics of the face because the more I try to draw a human, the worse it is. Because your brain has preconceived notions of what you think things look like. And if I don't break out of it, I look it looks terrible. <laughs> and well, I'm going to go again. See you guys later. Stay lovely and pretty. Aww. Can you draw leaves on me? Oh, yeah. I can absolutely add leaves. If you want leaves, I can add leaves to your person. Um, But I also... I think I'm going to call it because my stomach is literally grumbling. Wow, that looks like a Barney purple compared to everything else. Uh, so we will, <laughs> I will change that. I'm <gasps> um, sorry, that was loud. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna peace. Thank you guys all for hanging out with me. This has been an amazing stream. Um, what was I gonna say? What was I, words? Um, I w will be streaming next weekend, I think. Um, it, it's it's technically Thanksgiving, but I mean it's not on the weekend. So I think I think I'm I, my plan is to definitely be streaming. We'll probably do the same thing, um, and if I can do an extra stream on Friday, which I might do later in the day, uh, we'll probably do Death Road to Canada because I've been I don't know I've been vibing either that or the Untitled Goose Game because I have to get <laughs> I have more achievements to do in that. So we might do an extra stream next week too if I have time. Um. But yes, I think that's all the announcements I have. Don't know if we will work on this next week or not because I might finish it. And if I don't finish it, then I'll probably want to work on it. So it's, it's we might do something new and we might work on this. It depends on how far I get on it. Um, but yeah, so thank you guys for coming. See you all some other time, hopefully next weekend. Um, and have stay healthy, stay happy, stay hydrated, all the good things. Okay, goodbye. <laughs>